Right, well, 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 hello everybody. How's it going? Ms. Royal Fan is here, and welcome back to the channel and to today's live stream. Today, as promised, we have the AMX 50B to cover. This tech received some pretty interesting changes in update 10.0, which, in my opinion, make it a whole lot better than it used to be. And the big question is, is it back to the glory days of the 2 and 5B? Because the 2 and 5, uh, sorry, 2 and 5B, wrong thing, AMX 50B. Because back in the day, the AMX 50B was like one of the best tier 10 tanks in the game. Um, so that's what today's stream is here to cover. How's it play? How's it perform now that it's been changed? All that stuff we will talk about. But before that, hello to everybody in chat. We have Ominous, GV100, Helmi, Lewis, Robin, Marcus, AGR, Francisco, Lady Maria, Kamu, Mike Edwards, Skip Dreadman, Martias. How's it going, guys and gals? Welcome to today's stream. Please do smash the like button. Thank you very much. It is appreciated. And I uh, hope you guys are having a great almost start to your weekend not quite there but it's pretty close <laughs> fatty missing the 2 and 5b yes 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 i am missing my 2 and 5b actually 2 and 5b is pretty darn good right now to be fair uh what's up tanks and jelly how's it going how's it going welcome welcome rocket boy as well okay so we got some Good old AMX to be action today, and if I suicide like a uh, a Pepega in my 50B during one of the games, then we can whip out the 5120 while we wait for my vehicle to get out of game. But we will focus primarily on the AMX 50B. So, what are we going to do to the tank? Well, like most of the rebalances in recent times, they didn't just outright buff the vehicle, but they gave it more pluses than cons, in my opinion. So, 50B lost 100 HP. It went from 2400 base to 2300, but if you are running HP, you're still going to have 2438 hit points. So, it's still a decent amount of hit points for a tier 10 heavy. Not the highest, obviously, but enough for a vehicle with good mobility. And speaking of mobility... That is one of the nice changes that they gave it was they increased the reverse speed from 15 kilometers an hour to 18. And that, that is actually a significant difference. If, if you've never played a vehicle with almost 20 reverse speed versus the typical 12 to 15, you will quickly realize how nice it is being able to back out of a situation very quickly, especially if you don't have the best reverse. And as an auto loading tier 10 heavy tank, the 50B needs to be able to reverse quite often out of situations it puts itself into to dump the magazine and you will notice that 18 kilometers an hour reverse speed it sounds small but it's honestly really really nice and of course the thing that most people will notice intraclip dropped down to 2.7 seconds so just a little bit longer than a t57 heavy and one of my main gripes with the amx 50b in the past was that it took way too long to get all four shells out like about nine seconds i believe which is just crazy long now you can do it in a shorter period of time and you will notice that you could dump more damage out so the dpm is a little bit more usable now as for the issues with the tank, it still has pretty darn derpy accuracy, unfortunately, but it's it's understandable. Um, the armor is good, but, you know, you're still going to get pent through the turret all the time and stuff like that. But otherwise, tank kill's pretty solid. I think we should just jump into some games to give you some uh, look at the vehicle. I'm going to try and shift my camera in a little so I'm a little more centered. There we go. And sorry, I see a lot of people in, in chat. One billion credits. Wow. Yes, I'm a rich boy. <laughs> in game, at least. Now give me one billion dollars. Outside of the game. <laughs> good afternoon, fatness. Uh, good evening. Good afternoon to you. I, I know I look super tan. I promise you, it's just the lighting. I didn't close my shades because they're they're a pain in the bum to close. So I, I'm just letting all that warm sunlight just uh, make me glow. Um, Skip, we don't need. <laughs> oh, ah, ah, ah. Hello, I'm back. Long time no see. My thesis had me like a hostage. Happy daddy. It's been a long time, dude. Welcome back to the channel. It's good to see you, dude. Good to see you. 2.7 to clip nutty. I know, right? Equipment? Uh, right. I, I think I'm running supercharged so I can snapshot more uh, distance. And I'm also running the equipment that gives me just a better dispersion when aimed in. Because once again, the dispersion of the 50B is a bit of a no go. All right, so here's what we got. Enemy team has two heavies. My team has two heavies. Um, is the 100 going to go this way or not? I might end up playing bridge. And I know this sounds maybe a little crazy. Because usually I'd recommend taking the 50B to a mobile spot. But 
technically speaking, we do outclass them in heavies, unless you count the E4 as a heavy, which you totally can, in which case the enemy team technically has better heavies than us. But for now, let's just spot at this corner here, and hopefully we don't get blind fired, which is, you know, it's a possibility. All right, so there's an object there. Quick shell to the object, and another shell to him. Very nice. And you'll notice that 2.7 second interclip allowed me to more comfortably hit that second shell to the object. The old 50B, uh -uh, it would not have been able to do that quite as comfortably as I was able to uh, there. He might have even backed up just before I had the reload. So let's think about what we can do now. Sheridan, Leo, T54, uh, TVP are all kind of out of this fight. Okay, okay. So I see the 54 just crossed. I think here's what we can do now. The object is pretty low on the hit point pool department. Uh, we might end up taking one from the T124 here, although we do manage to just barely sneak under here. And I'm going to see if we can do anything about this. So the Conway does unfortunately die. I'm going to take that to mean that they... Oop, that was just a bad shot on my part. I was going to say, I'm going to take that to mean that the... Track him again, okay? That the E4 fired. Nice, E4 fires again. Let's take advantage of this opportunity to kill this object here. Good stuff. And we still have one more shell. Put into his lower plate. So, I mean, we did lose a few more hit points there than I would have preferred. But at the same time... Okay, so there's the K91. Okay, okay. Here's what we can do. So me and the 100 are both here. We have a K91 coming in. We have a Sheridan also coming in. I'm going to get a little bit further back here in case that E4 decides he wants to just send it for me. Um, oh man, all of their meds are coming back this way. I do not like this at all. This might end up not going very well for us, guys, because we have a whole lot of vehicles coming in for us here. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to push forward for the K91 here because I can theoretically one clip them. Okay, one shell to the K91 here. Two shells. Just give him a little tap just to make sure he's a guaranteed two shot for me. A third shell here, and let's pull in. Now we're going to run across away from the E4 and towards the Leo. So, very nice. We're able to come through cool out the candidate one. That's 3,000 damage dealt. Nothing too crazy. Um, looks like our E100 is kind of chilling for now. Oh, E100 absolutely bombing the Leo there. And I don't think I'm going to farm anything else. I'm really surprised their meds completely abandoned the that flank, which it looked like they were pretty neck and neck in terms of... Uh, ability on that flank, but they just kind of threw it away. Let's put a quick kill shot into the Leo on the move. Yeah, there I was complaining about the 50B's gun handling that we hit shots like that. Yes, very logical. Um, and, you know, it's like, what? 3.7k? 3.8k-ish? Depending on how much ram damage I did to that K91. Not a bad game. Uh, actually, a pretty good game, I would say, for the most part. I did fluff a few shots here and here. Oh, just under 3.7k. <laughs> Not quite 3.8. But, yeah. You know, the tank performed solid. It, that interclip is very nice. It, it really does allow you to get out those shots of just, a, just a hair faster, which I'm really enjoying about the tank. But, um, you know, fundamentally, the 50B is going to be best in kind of closer quarters engagements distance does not suit the 50b very well at all unless you have full time to aim in your shells and even when you do there's a good chance they just go like to nowhere i i say when you're trying to decide on the play style for the 50b you kind of have to decide on a semi close quarters engagement and crazy as it may sound 50 is really good at fighting heavy tanks on a second line or when you have a building to hide behind it's, su it's more suited to that in my opinion than chasing meds around which you can't do but it's it's hard when you're caught in the open in a vehicle like this um does 50B seem more bouncy? Uh, a little bouncy than it used to be, actually, because back when Wargaming were like, let's give this tank cracked armor for no reason. Yeah, that's that's insanely bouncy. Now it's just decently bouncy. The turret will still get the ricochets, and the hollow obviously is great. It looks like my allies actually want to go lefty here, so you know I don't mind I don't mind pushing a little bit to the left. I actually prefer fighting left. I think the right side at C cap is a big trap for haul down vehicles and if you're not in a strong haul down tank, it's kind of a rip. So I'm actually going to end up going to this side here. And hopefully we can catch someone off guard pretty quickly. I do have most of the TDs for support. Let's see if we can spot anyone from here. And so far, no one has been spotted. That's fine. We'll just have to kind of casually poke. And hopefully we do not get completely obliterated here. Put a quick shell in towards the 113. Sadly, that shell does not go in. 2.7 second interclip does allow me to hit a second shell there. It looks like the 113 satisfied the sit there, but I am going to reload. I really don't want to risk it right now. And speaking of reverse speed, look how quickly we are reversing down this hill. 18 kilometers an hour. It's like faster than a T95 and almost as fast as a tortoise. That's pretty nice, honestly. So I'm just going to go get the cap real quick. 
Now, here's what we know. So, our Kampf Panzer is AFK. Our Yag is pushing in. Our one one's pushing into the enemy spawn. I can make a decision on which side I really want to go and support. Um, I'd love to support the rear. Because, personally, I think pushing into their spawn might not be the smartest idea. But... But the only caveat to that is these meds are being really aggressive here. And if they get caught out, that's kind of a GG. So I'm going to kind of rotate towards the enemy spawn to see if I can start cross them out from behind. But don't get too overextended here. Although we are going to be down about two tanks because our object got nuked or WZ got nuked. And our um, other tanks also lost a boatload of HP here. All right, here's a T-1024. Let's put a quick track shot into him. I'm going to try and get the rear ricochet. Very nice. Let's put another track shot into him. Good stuff. And we should be able to pick up the kill on his tank just like that. Lovely. That faster interclip reload there allowed me to comfortably clip out that um, T-124 while perma tracking him. Now, the 50B would be a little bit insane to make this push here because there are double TDs and I only have 12 seconds left on the reload. I will be the one that will take the shots here. We don't have too much time to sit around considering that my allies are losing HP fairly quickly here. So I think it's about time we start pushing in. So one quick shot to the 50B here. You know what? I'll give the grill room to push in a little bit. I might take some shots here, but I'm just trying to give the grill some room. Another shell here. Good stuff. And we should be able to pick up a kill on this dude because I think the waffle has the kill shot on the 50B. Nice. Awesome. I'm going to push in now that the Hobri has fired. We're going to push up slightly to the left here. That way, if we can get out of the way of the Hobri and the 113 and start getting ready for a flake. And, you know, obviously, this tank has fantastic mobility, so it allows you to make plays like this. And there we go. So now we can act like we're running away. Or we'll wait for the 113 to maybe get a little distracted. He does fire once here. That's perfect for me. One shell into his tank here. Good stuff. We might be able to track him just in time. Another track shot into him. Perfect. Let's track him again. This time, we'll aim a little higher. And we can pick up an easy kill just like that. You can see, this tank is an absolute assassin. When you manage to take it into an engagement where you can just push out and catch those players off guard. And that's what I was doing this whole game. And luckily for me, I did make the right call of pushing in to help our meds on this side. Um, it does look like we have a 54 coming this way. So I'm going to pull back ever so slightly here as we have a lot of very low HP targets. And I'm sure some of the meds are going to push around from behind. There's the object 84. Quick shot into the object here. We might be able to hit a second shot. Hopefully a track shot maybe. Nice. We even hit the track shot. Okay, he is down. Let's see if we can put a quick shot into the 54. Not quite. We are on 5,000 damage, though. That's the good news. All right. Object might push in for me. And I am completely by myself now. Wow. I, did, I was not expecting that. Quick shot to this dude. The Hori was at least taken down. Let's see. We have some dudes flanking us here. I'm going to wait for them both to commit to that flank before we start pushing in on this object here, who hopefully will give me the ram kill. Come on. Little ram kill. I'm dead. It's a GG. I did 5k or so, so I'm happy with that. Unfortunately, my allies were just not the smartest with their play at the end of that game. Uh, I should have gone back to kill the 54 probably instead of trying to keep the object at bay. We did good. We did a lot of damage there. Almost 6,000 damage dealt very comfortably. The The issue was, like I called, our Kampfpanzer was AFK. So that's kind of just a uh, just kind of a rip having those players that load and don't do anything. And our Yag yeah, kind of wandered off. And yeah, and then, uh, WZ kind of did their stank away. But um, yeah, 50B performed really, really well there. Would the old 50B have performed better? Mm, potentially. Potentially. It would have at least had more DPM to clear out flanks and stuff like that. Um, maybe a mistake I made was bleeding out a few too many shots to the 113, but I really wanted to try and kill that 113 because he was holding off that entire flank. And I was just trying to bank on my allies staying alive long enough in the mid, but fortunately, they did not quite do it. Hey, Haxi, how's it going? Good to see ya, buddy. Good to see ya, you dirty dog. All right, here's what we're going to do. We are going to try and cross left. Now, they have an I-7, a 50B, and a Kron, and double 183s. It's high risk crossing all the way to the corner, but very rewarding if you do manage to make it to the corner unspotted. Um, and hopefully that's going to happen. Otherwise, I might get nuked and lose all my HP. Luckily for me, I do have another 50B with me. And so far, so far, no one has been spotted crossing. Okay, so there's the I-7 and there's the 50B. They have also spotted me up here. Now, the good news is me and this 50B can both hold this corner and pretty much just double clip whatever un unfortunate soul decides to push forward. Let's put a shell into this I-7 here. The I-7 has done screwed up big time. We'll just keep aiming for his weak upper plate here. Another quick shell to him and we should be able to pick up a kill in no time. Nice. Good stuff. That's exactly what we wanted. Poor I-7. Um... Did not make the biggest of brain plays there. It looks like most of the enemy team is going to be over on this side here. And we will just have to tank a few hits here and there. I would say for um, 
survivability's sake, what we should do here is kind of split their attention. Okay, I'm going to ignore the AMX 50B here. He has three more shells or so, but I think it's going to be a lot smarter to just kill this Kron. So one shell into this Kron wagon. Me and the 50B can just double clip out this Kron. Another shell into him. Good stuff. I should be able to pick up a kill on him in absolutely no time. Perfect. And the enemy 50B is also kind of just around this corner. He's almost reloaded, so let's put a quick shell into him. And I'm going to try and back up around this corner a little bit here. So if he does try to push on me, I have the other 50B for support here. And, um, okay, there's the 183. There we go. I was waiting for that 183 to shoot. That's why I didn't back up too much. That's why I didn't back up too much. It was too risky with that 183 unspotted. And this 50B can do whatever he wants to this poor unfortunate soul. Let's put a quick shot into this dude. Quick kill shot. Good stuff. Me and this 50B absolutely sweeping. Like, not even close. Just sweeping this corner here. All right, there's the 183. Let's see if we let's see if we can try and not get hashed by this dude. Good stuff. And that's just under 4,000 damage. Not bad. Me and the 50B holding off this corner pretty well, I would say. Uh, even though the IS-7 did throw his tank away for free, the Kron and 50B certainly were trying to actually do their best on that corner. But you can see where a platoon of these tanks would be really, really helpful. Um, GG to uh to <laughs> that 50 bs username is funny uh gg to him though gg to him so uh yeah good game good game and we got the dub as well okay 520 of whatever these coins are oh yeah it's for some retro event i don't know it looks kind of cracked um it just looks like reskinned vehicles in games so i'm not going to worry about it too much uh, how do you feel about Polish mediums being the next tech tree line? Uh, could you give me a refresher? What tanks are the Polish meds in PC? Because I'm trying to remember. Is it... They're like generic meds, right? They're not too crazy different. So, I don't know how I feel about that. Here's what we might do here. Okay. Call me crazy. Once again, you have to really consider the AMX 50B strengths and weaknesses. One of its bigger weaknesses is its giant profile. Going to the dunes where you have a Fosh, a 268, maybe a hold on to, uh... 121 and a 25 b shooting at you is really not ideal so i'm gonna take a gamble here and try for the town strat and see if we can maybe just maybe catch any of their players off guard especially if they do not head this way so the tnh is headed to this side of the map that's fine i have a 57 for support so far only two meds are spotted on that flank so i should be careful before over committing into the cap here especially as they might have tds and there's the 25 b that's 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 the, the tank i was more or less worried about here so tnh is kind of pulling forward a little bit um i don't really want to take a shot from this dude but i kind of have to try and bait a shell out of him Maybe me and this 57 can push him together. Okay, he has fired his tank, and now me and the 57 can get ready to start dishing the dirt out on this poor dude. Now, I might end up taking a second shot from this dude. It, it is what it is. We angle the turret up there a little bit for the ricochet. The 57's pulling in from the side. Another shell to this poor, poor fool here. He is way isolated. We'll pull back a little bit. I'll let the 57 take the next shell. There's no reason for me to take another hit here. Um, another quick shell on the web. Good stuff. Okay, so me and the 57 clearing out this side very, very quickly here. There's the 268 as well. I think my team's not going to do super well in the dunes, so we should prioritize clearing out their object 268 and so on. Now, I'm sure the object 268 is just waiting to shoot at me, although I should be able to stay just under this ridge and not get quite shot by him just yet. All right, let's see where Mr. 268 is. Okay, maybe he pulled into the houses a little bit here. We do have to clear out his tank as quickly as possible, wherever possible. All right, quick shell into the 268 here. Looks like he's pulling forward a little bit. We'll have to watch out for any more crossfire here. And oh my goodness, there is a Fosh as well. Let's put a quick shell into the Fosh. Bounce back a little bit. Now, I think he is maybe running an autoloader. Another shell into the Fosh here. Perfect. Our 57 Heavy making a little bit of a mistake here. And, um... YOLOing in and getting his tank killed completely unnecessarily, which is a bit of a rip for me and my allies here. I think, you know, I, as much as I want to stay and hold the site, oh, nice. Leo actually done got himself nuked just a little bit here. Okay, let's see. What's the Leo doing? The Leo's pushing in on our 183. If our 183 can kill that Leo, we might be fine. I'm going to push back and support my allies where it matters. These three TDs are kind of isolated. Um, our E4 is the one that will. Oh, gosh. This could hurt a whole lot for me. Oh, oh my gosh. I am so unbelievably lucky. Okay. I, I will admit, that was pure, unbelievable luck there. All right. Let's put another track shot into this 268 here. Good stuff. I'm going to act like I am clipping out. Oh, my gosh. He done threw his tank away for free. Okay. Okay. 
Here's what I'm gonna do since our E4 is making a bit of a nice diversion here. Let's put a quick kill shot into this dude. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, fo focus the low HP targets. Focus the low HP 268, buddy. If we do this together, we might be able to pull something off here. Nice, nice, nice. If I kill this dude, stay alive, E4. Stay alive. That's all you gotta do, buddy. That's all you gotta do. I'm gonna try and take one shot for our E4, buddy, here, maybe. Okay, E4. Let's see what happens. It's gonna be a close game, for sure. It's gonna be a very, very close game here. I'm not gonna risk taking the shot if I don't have to. Sheridan, um, I was gonna say Sheridan should die first, but maybe not. Maybe I should kill the one to one first here. All right, one to one pushing in, put it, putting a quick shell into him here. All right, another shell into him. We're gonna keep running away from this side here, and quick shell into this two and five B. But sadly, my remaining ally does go down here, so that's gonna be a GG for me. Not really a whole lot I can do. My tank is. A bit slow in the reversal here. So let's just go for maybe the quick little ram. Let's angle up. I did the best I could. I was a little slow to clear the flank, but in terms of dishing out the damage, I think we did do the right play. Uh, the problem was our 57 should not have pushed into the ditch. If he'd stayed up with me, we could have cleared the TDs, held the high ground, easily won. Um, almost 6,000 damage dealt. Three kills, the only kills. 183 did zero. Super Conqueror did 200 damage. And of course, our 57 did one clip and then one extra shot. Half a shot after that. GG to me 2 and 5B. He had a good game. Um, was our 183 AFK? He might have been AFK. Oh, I mean, we're having some decent first games. We're having some decent farm games. And I think for the most part, this is what you can expect from a... Amex 50B's play style, right? It, you have to be very decisive in where you position it and try to use it to clear out the vehicles that are isolated or low HP. You have to have at least, you know, one or two tanks supporting you if possible. But that really long reload prevents you sometimes from being able to clear out tanks fast enough. Like, it's really good at that burst damage. But in terms of that raw DPM, I couldn't quite manage. I, I low-key wish our E4 had not YOLO'd in there. He had full HP. It would have been a little better if he could have stayed closer to maybe the building spine counter and just left me to take out the 268. And that way we could have like um crossfired the enemy team out a little bit more. But honestly, I don't I don't know. He was the only tank that had the high DPM there. I was banking on his DPM to carry us. But yeah, the horrific traverse on the 50B is a weakness, 100%. And you even saw that game. I wasn't able to run away. But mind you, mind you, the FE2 and 5B does have some of the highest traverse in tier 10 for a heavy tank. So it is pretty difficult to outrun a 2 and 5B if you're not in a straight line. And let's be honest, in a straight line means you're just going to get hatched. I just... I just did what I could there to try and support my allies. So we're going to go to this window spot for the early spotting and hopefully early damage. There is a Wild Vicar's Light, so let's put a quick shot to him. Very nice. You know, I really like this combination on the AMX 50B. I wasn't so certain about it at first, but low-key, the, um, the supercharged shells and uh, the equipment that makes your gun just a little bit more accurate and fully aimed in has been very solid. I've been very pleased with it. Anyhow... Vickers is alone. Enemy team is likely going to A, so I'm just going to drop down for the windows before I get absolutely yeeted by the enemy players. And we do get spotted on the crossing, so that tells you right away they had tanks kind of just out of sight waiting for me. Um, it does look like this WZ here has made a little bit of a mistake. I'm going to reload. I'm not sure if this is going to be a farm game because we are doing a good job nuking the enemy team. You are my favorite player and streamer. And I believe best player in a view and watching you. Aww. I went from 48% to 57%. Hey, that's good. Yes. Hey, that's a nice win rate increase. Thank you very much, Mike Wazowski, for the, for the donation. Really do appreciate it. And uh, thank you very much for the kind words as well. All right, let's try and aim for a track shot here. Dang, we just missed the track shot. And sure, he hits that full on the move. Okay. Okay, buddy. He, he, I'm pretty sure he was going faster than the limit for... Uh, Mobility too. Ooh, speaking of which, let's aim for the field tanks of the E100. Not quite able to hit those there. There's the TNH. Maybe a track shot again. Ugh, I'm trying to aim for those track shots, but it is kind of screwing me up just a little bit there. Um, I wasn't able to aim it in fast enough. Oh my gosh, a badger. Okay, so if we want to be damaged farmers, that flank is dead. This flank has a lot... This flank had a lot of HP. Until a wild badger decided to throw his tank away. Impressive. Well, if that's the case, don't mind if I do. 
um, casually start farming out you, Mr. IS-4. So, one quick shot into the IS-4 here. Um, two quick shots into this IS-4 here. And a third shot into the IS-4 here. And maybe for some optimal damage farm, a shot into this dude as well. Uh, Mr. E5, you probably want to turn your tank around, buddy. Buddy, 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 shoot! <laughs> I don't even know what's happening anymore. All right, not a farm game. Absolute sweep fest of a battle. Um, Batch and I7 are probably going to just farm the daylights out of the E100. But you know what? I will, uh, I'll take the dub. I will take the dub, considering we've had a couple of losses. And to be fair, the 50B is not the most reliable winning tank in solo engagements, especially if you're caught in a situation when you're like one versus four or one versus five and the enemy team have some very healthy tanks. Can be a little problematic. Come on, come on, come on. One more shot. Yeah, there we go. Maybe just, just under 3K damage with that shell. Let's see. What are we at? Oh, 3.4. We got more than expected. 3.45, uh, I think. Bobby said, no, that's crazy. <laughs> Three shells is peak 50B. Yeah, it's going to be very hard to ever beat the three shell 50B because that tank was borderline busted. That's how strong it was. But I do sincerely believe that since the AMX 50B received four shells, this has been the most comfortable and the most damage dealing the tank has been because, you know, the 50B, I mean, it was nice they had more HP back then, but let's be honest, what mattered most to an AMX 50B was being able to dump that damage out quickly and start reloading the next magazine quickly and being able to move around quickly. That's what we're getting prioritized with this update, right? Being able to deal that damage faster, being able to reverse out of situations faster, all major uh, buffs in my opinion. This is from Slash O. Thank you. Thank you very much, Slash. Really appreciate it. <laughs> I just got a slash. Good job listening to your story <laughs> later when you work. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do here. Um, we're gonna go. We're gonna go town. So Sheridan TVP, Skoda T T50. I prefer to take a town engagement in my 50B. As as I've been as I've been showcasing you guys throughout this stream. Try not to get your 50B stuck in big open territory because it's it's really easy to just get absolutely yeeted when you do that. I much prefer a scenario where you can kind of get slightly more comfortable in a town engagement, poke on the enemy team and have those buildings for hard cover. And generally speaking, that's where you're going to be able to deal the most effective damage. So we're going to kind of push, casually push through here so far. Okay, I was going to say so far no one spotted up, but a wild VK72 and of course... The accuracy on this tank is not going to hold up for that type of situation here. And it looks like the TNH is also hot on. So this is actually not the engagement I was looking for. <laughs> I was hoping their heavies would actually commit a little bit more to town. So let's see if we can kind of wait for them to make that commitment here. I'm going to... I don't think this dude's going to completely run away, right? Maybe. I don't know what we should do here. We might want to push him to the left a little bit. Or we might just want to push out and help on our med side. You know, that might be the play actually. Excuse me, 140. Excuse me, buddy. The play here might be to push out and help our mediums. Only question is, where's that 183 at? Not exactly sure where the 183 is, but I'm going to take a risk here. I know this is a pretty significant risk going rear onto a potential 183 target, but we really need to clear out these meds. So, one quick shot into this TVP here. Two shots. He's dead now. We also have two shots for the Sheridan here. Quick shot into his tank as well. There we go. We've done a pretty good job. We've managed to clear out the Sheridan. That was more important to me because if we'd let those dudes just wander around, we may have bled out a lot of HP to them. And now that we know the flank is clear, it has, hasn't even been two minutes and the game is already over for the enemy team. That's, that's amazing. All right. Well, if that's the case, there's only one thing left to do, ladies and gentlemen. It is to farm damage. It is to farm damage on the full health heavy tanks. So, Mr. VK72, I hope you are ready to engage me and Mr. T95E6 in just a moment's time. Hopefully, I can get, you know, two clips out before it's too late. Alright, one quick shot to the VK here. Let's aim for some track shots. There we go. Let's aim our full front at him. No way he actually hits that HE. Dude is insane with it. But also, dude is completely toast. Oh, I accidentally reloaded my last shell when I was trying to switch. Where did he hit that HE? Wait, where? Oh, man, that was a good shot. I don't even think... I thought I angled my front at him fully, but you know what? It don't matter. We are still going to win. Regardless. <laughs> very, very comfortably win at that. Um, let's go, 405. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. 
And it's GG. <laughs> that was a sweep game if I've ever seen one. Better armor than 50 B. 50 has better intercooked consumable. True, 57 also is a whole lot slower though. So, you know, there is that. I would say when it comes to more passive town play, the 57 is going to be a lot better, especially if both teams are kind of holding. The nice thing about the 50B though, is it does have that flexibility to really just run around. And you know, you know, we were able to farm just under 3K that game. And I feel like we didn't do much because there wasn't much to do. His games have just been getting more and more closer, closer steamrolls every time. It's sad. I know, right? I'm waiting for that two minute 7 0 sweep. We, we, we got to see that next. Everyone used to say that using adrenaline increases module damage. Is that still true? I believe it is. Um, I can check in a moment. The adrenaline. You know what? We might be able to make a town play. What do they got? T and H and a chieftain. Dude, they don't have good town tanks. We can absolutely take a town play and bully them here. Um, is it the smartest play? Not necessarily, but also at the same time, I highly doubt their team is even really gonna send that many vehicles over here. All right, so we do have a wild TNH here. Let's put a quick shell into his tank. Okay, that one unfortunately goes to Narnia. Second shell, however, it does hit, so that's the good news. Um, as for support, don't really have any. That's cool, I guess. Waffenträger is probably about to poke forward. Let's see. Oh, there's the T30. Quick shell to him. So, this is the 50B's gun that I'm talking about. Theoretically, it's good, but its accuracy will really derp on you if you're trying to snapshots off. And obviously, I don't want to send the open facing that man's there. I really wish your 60 TP had not gone into the mid, so I could have at least uh, done something on this corner because I thought we were going to push through the left here, guys, instead of sitting all in the back. Um, now I'm thinking I might have made a little bit of a mistake here because I, I actually can't do much from this position without losing a boatload of HP. Let's see, maybe if we corner peek this just barely. Okay, there's that dude. There's, okay, T30's gonna poke me soon, I think. Maybe. Nice, quick poke from the T30 here. All right, let's pull back before he has time to shoot me. He is gonna keep holding that corner here. That's gonna be a really annoying player to deal with. TNH did manage to escape as well. This is not a damage farm, because unfortunately I'm stuck here dealing with a whole bunch of heavies. You know what, I'm just gonna risk it for the biscuit, buddies. All right, quick track shot into the D30 again, and let's see if we can hit a quick shot into this VZ as well. Not quite able to hit that one, but we might be able to, ah, actually no, not worth the risk, not worth the risk, buddy. Not worth the risk. Okay, actually worth the risk. What, what the heck is this dude doing? He's just pushing through. Impressive. I'm actually gonna get YOLO'd here, I think. Um, I don't have any support. We'll just have to hold, we'll just have to hold. There isn't really much for me to do. The Waffen that I got will go down very quickly. That's the good news. Uh, T100 also gonna go down really quickly. I guess I got I gotta kill the T30 first before I can do anything else. So let's see. T30, you poking here, buddy? Oh, T30's out of the fight. All right, lovely stuff. Oh, okay. I guess I gotta clear this. Nope, he's dead. Wow, this game was just insane. All right, and this VZ is just wasting his time over here. Dude is wasting so much time. I don't think I'll even be able to clip him before it's over. That was a weird game. I was kind of stuck in just the the holding roll of just holding my position here. <laughs> but maybe maybe I can get four shells into this dude. No, the Sheridan stole it. Oh, just under 3k. Well, a 7-0. Two minutes and 45 seconds. Very close game. <laughs> The, the thing is that 57 has over the 50B is that it isn't French. Uh, I don't know about that. Actually, no, I mean, I don't know if it's over, but it's true that it isn't French. All right. The Waffenträger has some Japanese. <laughs> uh, I don't know how I, I don't know what if, what, how I feel about that one, Chief. <laughs> uh, Waffenträger is going for the yellow. I will give him that. <laughs> I almost a aced the AMX 50B, but lagged killed me. Dude, the 50B has a really high ace bar now. It's actually kind of crazy. Planning to stream the... with... Poovinson. Uh, not really. I am so dumb. I am so dumb. I, I, I am... I am so dumb. I... Yes, yes, I just misfired my gun. Completely unnecessarily, because I was too busy talking. And, uh, my finger was twitching. Ay, ay, ay. I can't believe I done did that. That's, uh, that's just embarrassing. Okay, let's see what the enemy team are gonna send here. I could have peeked this corner immediately if I wasn't still reloading. Ooh. Oh, wow. Interesting. So we have an object here. We can't quite pen that. Okay. So we can't half snipe that. The E5 is just taking a hold down position. Okay, I shouldn't be so aggressive here. I thought with their, I don't know, E5 and object, they were not going to take such aggressive positions on this corner. 
It turns out I was completely mistaken. Um, they are very much taking aggressive positions along this corner here. Ooh, maybe, maybe, just maybe, we can hit that figures. There we go. I was gonna say, they don't have good holding tanks. This should not go well for them. Although, our 57 did throw his vehicle away. I still have a 183, two 183s for support. The enemy team really can't push here. As long as our Super Conqueror holds that corner without bleeding unnecessarily, um, we should be fine. We should be very, very much fine here soon. I'm gonna go help our grill clear out this 30B in just a moment's time. I think I can do some sick. 183 said no, you shall not. You shall not be free, said the 183. All right, so we have a wild T-125 here. One quick shell into his side. Good stuff. Um, our Super Conqueror does get yeeted to an Oblivion. That's a bit unfortunate. I'm gonna back up a little bit in a straight line here. I know it might not sound like the smartest play, but trust. Trust in the process. It's much better if I can hold with these 183s here. All right, quick shell towards the E5, and there's that Amex to be gun handling. It just does not snapshot at all, unfortunately. Um, the good thing is, though, it does have good APCR pen, so we can totally take advantage of that. Alright, so I'm gonna reload my magazine before the enemy team start yelling our 183 here. And as a matter of fact, I'm probably best off just running away from this corner, because this dude's about to go down. So, that's exactly what I'm gonna have to do here. Yeah, before he gets taken out. Alright, so he gets taken out from here. And we're gonna have to run away ever so slightly from this corner. And we'll just have to bait the enemy team into us. Now, our 57, enemy 57 is a bit distracted, which is good news. Um, I'm gonna wait to see what the enemy team pushes, or where they decide to push. Oh, there's the Yag. Okay, sadly, a bit of a low roll there. 350 on a 360 HP target, but, you know, with the 183 for support, we might be able to kill this dude. I can't really afford to take a shot here. It's not a smart idea. Good stuff. And we shall now take advantage of this, um, situation here to start pushing on the T-125. So let's, let's go, buddy. Let's go. We, we can totally clear out this E5 if we push together. Angle the turret up a little bit. Very good stuff. One trap, one shell to him. Let's see if I can maybe, just maybe track him here. Good, good stuff, 183. Good stuff. All right, let's hug here for a little. Now, the Vickers is a one is a low HP target. Um, the 57 is pretty healthy. I am a two to three shot against the 57 heavy, which is not so not so saucy. Um. The 183 has all the HP. I'm happy that I took the shots for the 183 there though, because now I know at least he's not gonna insta die. The question is, how are we gonna play this out? Okay, there's the 57 heavy. Interesting. All right, 183 gets baited. 183, I'm gonna need you to get safe there, buddy. Here's what I'm gonna do. 57 I fired twice, I think. This might be the perfect opportunity to pick up a kill on him, because he's gonna reload his magazine. He's definitely gonna reload his magazine. Let's do it. So, Mr. 183. Let us go. Let us, let us uh, get the dub here. Let us get the dubs here. All right, 57 in the open. Quick shell to him. The Vickers does get a quick shell to me. Another shot to the 50, 57 heavy. He fires again. I'm gonna keep an eye on that dude. Okay, 57 clipped out. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Oh, 183. You you should have coordinated that with me, buddy. You, okay, that's fine. Maybe I should have saved my shot for the Vickers. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Me and this 183 put in some good stuff. So oh my. The lag. The lag. Uh, 183 is going to pick up a kill on this dude. Hey, buddy. Hit them ricochets. Oh, the Vickers is a goat. He is an absolute mountain goat of a player. Yo, -ho. is he going to make the big brain plays? Psych, what you going to do now, buddy? Uh, buddy, you can't sit in front of a 183. Hate to break it to you, buddy, but you are you are very much dead if you stay there. Uh, I don't know what the Vickers was thinking. <laughs> My extra damage! Ah. <laughs> Is the 50 beer already got the PBR textures? Affirm, it does. Saw you in 34's room yesterday, Gears. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. I'm like, huh, me? Nice! 4,000 damage dealt. That's what I'm talking about. Me and this 183 pulled in against some good work. I made a little bit of a boo-boo here and there, uh, pushing a little aggressively, misfiring like a bot. You know how it is, but in the end, we got the 4K out. The 183 played a really solid game as well. Hey, bro, watching from the Philippines. Hello, hello. Shout out to all the Filipinos out there. Ah, Discord notification. HRF, uh, <laughs> you should do map position like drills to help newbies. Uh, my live streams are map position, guys, I, I think. 
Well, not guides per se, but they're really good examples on how you can play maps and what happens when you play the right positions and the wrong positions. And I think just observing, and I usually try and call out when I made some bad plays or bad positioning. Uh, and what, what could have been a good alternative, but it does require a lot of devotion in your guys' time. I have done one map guide back in the day, but mm, I don't know. Uh, I don't really do videos. <laughs> Very enjoyable match at HRF. Thank you. That was a good game. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of uh, Pincer Clan? Um, yeah, honestly, I don't know too much about them nowadays. I knew a lot more about Pincer back in like 2018, 2019, 2020, when they were a little bit more comp relevant. Uh, I don't really know what they do nowadays, though, to be honest. <laughs> um... Yeah, most fun I had in Blitz in a while. What was, Camus? <laughs> Training rooms? Be ready for Fantasy 4 stream. Ah, yeah, the E4 stream should be Pog. Pog. All right. 50B, IS7, double TDs. They also have double meds. Okay, I'm... Am I going to risk it? Yo, yo, yo. This Flash seems like a decent player. He's from Moonman, so he's good going. Okay, I might make the boat play because, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it out every single time. Don't take your 50B to big open areas. Big open hilly areas are an especially significant problem for this tank. However, the good news is enemy team are not headed this direction. That means we will have plenty to farm here in a moment. The only unfortunate thing that could happen is my allies not surviving long enough here. Let's aim in fully on the Sheridan. Quick track shot into him. He gets taken out. That's exactly what we were hoping for. We also got some shots in the rear of the Patton here. Quick shot into him there. Good stuff. And we can aim for another shot. And yeah, that 50B accuracy. Not quite holding up here. Let's put a turret shot in. Oh gosh, the accuracy is so bad at distance. Do not use your 50B at distance. It does not work. Promise. I promise you. It just does not work at distance, guys. All right. This looks like the IS-7 is a bit in a crossfire here. Let's see if we can push in on him. The grill gets taken out. The Waffentrager... Probably running away pretty soon. And the I-7 going in for quite the YOLO here on our poor Amex 50B compadre. I'm here to help out. But you know what? We're going to kill the ST-1 first because the ST-1 is lower HP here. And we can pretty much two-shot him or one-clip him here, which is exactly what I was aiming for. Aim for that side plate there, 475 max roll. That puts me at 2300 damage dealt here. Good stuff. Game's already over, man. Game's already... It's, it's, it's just over at this point. I'm just going to push across here. <laughs> IS-7 getting baited a little bit. going to act like I'm aiming for this dude in case he tries to sit there and shoot me. But yeah, I mean, I think he's going to go down pretty fast. So I'm going to YOLO in. Got to YOLO in for that extra damage, buddies. YOLO in for that extra damage. Come on, I want at least 3k this game. One shot. Two shot. Oh my gosh, Waffentrager, do not YOLO, buddy. No, my damage. My damage. Mine, 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 mine. <laughs> there we go. One extra shot. Uh, I think we got 3K. Whew. That game was two minutes and five seconds, guys. That was very close to the two minute flat 7-0 roll. Gosh, 13 got wrecked, man. Oh, gosh. Well, we did 3.3 even in that absolute steamroll of a battle. Um, also, buddy, buddy, buddy. Please, if I if I haven't accepted your platoon request, it means I'm not going to platoon. <laughs> There's only like... Um, it's probably only like... Who the heck is this dude? Am I missing out or something? Robert? Yo. Robert K... Oh, I see. Um... If I have not accepted your platoon request um, in the past four games, it means I'm not going to platoon. And furthermore, there's only like three people on this server that I choose to platoon with um, because I, I want to platoon, usually. Out of a pool of ten people that I will platoon with, there's only three that I usually will accept. Um... So, yeah, the, the odds the odds are going to platoon with me are, are pretty slim. I'm usually a solo player, that's why. Uh, do you speak a little of Espanol? Uh, I do not. Uh, my apologies. Other than the basic stuff that uh, everyone kind of knows here in California. <laughs> Finally, should I have in-game chat, too? <laughs> it's nicer, honestly. You're, you're, le you're less... Uh, you're less tempted to mauled at your teammates if you have chat turned off. I highly recommend to anyone, everyone that uh, unless you absolutely need chat on, just turn it off so you can focus on your gameplay and um, it, it can actually help you focus quite a bit instead of getting into little little, uh, for want of a better word, little PP fights with other players in chat. It never just, it, do, it doesn't help with anything. <laughs> mm 
more respectful when you cancel the chat because uh so people because people want it to be toxic huh so e ue chat was actually canceled because people from oh did, did we're giving ye to eu chat and is it still yeeted i thought you meant like manually turning off chat which which i do especially when streaming because i can't control what other people say uh the odds of blue hit the fatty is lower than winning the mega millions uh, I, don't know that, but I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know. They are slim, but I don't know if they can be quantified as that slim. That would be a very low probability. Okay. So, I low-key kind of want to go towards the middle here because I've really enjoyed playing, playing this position. I do have an E4. Uh, the 113 hopefully will be coming into support soon. So, let's see if we can pull it out. Let's see if we can pull out the C resets and stuff without losing... 90% of our HP, which <laughs> let's reload. Uh, let's let's uh, let's reload and uh, slightly withdraw from this position because uh, yeah, that's 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 exactly how you lose 75% of your HP in that kind of engagement. There. The only good news is, hmm, actually, let's go back for the TVP in one two one. The enemy team are mostly sitting in C. I'm going to see if I can take advantage of their TVP being ridiculously aggressive here. All right, so TVP on the enemy team, making some boo-boo boo plays here. Uh, couldn't quite get the interclip to shoot him there. Okay. Might be a bit of a risk here to push in, but I think what I'm going to do is just help my allies kill this TVP and then go back to farm. Although, to be fair, I don't think the TVP is particularly a high risk. Dude is straight up just yellowing to his demise. I just wasted... All right, guys, I made a mistake. I wasted so much time trying to kill this dude. Also, can we appreciate that the 121 got cleared by 907 and lost zero hit points? That... Honestly, that takes a little bit of skill um, to full health that dude like that. Unless he got Amorax, which is a possibility, but I don't think he was. All right. Hi, friends. Hi. Hi, how's your day going so far? One quick shell to you. Another quick shell to you. And you know what? I'm going to clear the Badger. Uh, I'm a bit of a damage farmer right now. Yes, I know. Selfish. Selfish. But the game has already won. Those dudes are going to die anyway. So I'm going to split my clip there. Just for the, the maximum damage farm that I can get out of this situation here. Because it's... Okay. It's It's been not even two minutes. And it's already 7-5-0. And it's about to be 6-0 when this dude dies to the Yag in a moment's time. I'm going to yell for the 5A because I need my damage. No. He's gonna get farmed by ZE4. No, my damage. <laughs> wow. What happened to their team? Ay, ay, ay. They just got obliterated. I wasted so much time on the TVP. I would have farmed a lot more damage if I just stayed with the Badger up top and just farmed off of him instead of trying to clear the flank. But I genuinely thought the TVP may have become an issue later on until I realized that, yeah, they were just all dead on that side. Um, rip. We still did 2k. Could be worse. I still enjoyed 3 shot 50 more than this, but this is definitely an improvement to the 9.1 uh, 4 shot 50 B. I agree, MJ. Like I said, I think this is the best the 50 B has been since it got its 3 shot removed. And um, easily the best it's been. 777 is literally the same as 113. People just don't know it yet, as in not knowing the tank yet. Uh, Mike Ozowski, kind of? 113 still better personal opinion 113 still has the superior mobility acceleration um armor on the objects a little better but dude you cannot beat the 34 to 3400 plus dpm on the 113 excuse me that is really hard to beat it is so saucy with that amount of dpm so let's get back to the farm fest hopefully 60 tp vk tnh me object super bonkerer regular bonkerer um okay so, I'm going to make a risky play. We do have the support of the TDs here. That's what matters most. And we are going to make the very aggressive inside push play here. Okay, there's the 60 TP. Just not expecting him to be there, but that's fine. I should have support on this side here. Okay, VK has just fired his gun off. Let's wait for him to give me some track shots. Maybe. Okay. Oh, let's wait for this dude to shoot here. The shell to this man's. Okay, buddy, buddy, buddy buddy you have to be kidding me buddy there's no way you thought that was a smart play right when i had i don't know the whole team with me a 60 tp losing over half of his hp in a couple of seconds there from the over peak <laughs> i don't know why he pulled out so far to shoot me but then again you know players just like to do that sometimes all right let's see if we can wait for the vk okay 
So I know where the VK is. I'm gonna see if I can start farming this fool out here. One quick shell into his tank. Good stuff. Let's see. We can't quite hit a second one. Maybe in the hatch. Not quite. Sad. Sad. Okay. That's what I was hinting at low. All right. Here's what we have here. Okay. Um, our flank is open. I should not risk it. We should be fine winning this side. I'm just gonna be here to kind of cover our uh, our badger. All right. One quick shell. 183 has just fired. 2.7 second intraquip allowing me to hit a second shell there and her flank will be an issue soon. So let's wait for the 60 TP to get yeeted and then I'll have to start addressing the flank here in hopefully just a moment. You guys just have to shoot one high explosive shell and he's dead. I believe in y'all. I believe in y'all. I uh, agree 100% that's what I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you Mike for the donation. Okay. Okay. I think what I can do here I'm spotted by the Vicar's light. Hello, Mr. Vickers. One track shot into him here. Very good. Second track shot, maybe. Not quite able to hit it, sadly. Third shot into the turret does go in. I'm act like I'm reloading here just to bait him out. And a fourth shot into this dude. One full clip, taking him down to 100 HP. That's game over, isn't it? There's only four tanks left, and that dude's just dead. So, um, yeah, that's a GG, I guess. That That's just game over. I guess the AMX and the Vickers are the last tanks alive. Uh, Oh, man, that was fast. <laughs> oh, boy. I couldn't even find their TDs. They got annihilated so fast. Dude, when will these games stop being steamrolls? <laughs> There's like probably four nations left to get shot at. <laughs> Christmas tank. First down, let's go. Actually, that's like the fourth one from Mike. <laughs> I realized um, I got 4K. No way. When did I get 4K damage? I'm telling you, man, the 50B low-key farm is pretty good now. I didn't even realize it got 4k, dude. I, I had no clue. <laughs> I realized my money is 0.31 and Apple bounce. Oof. I still have a travel room from last Christmas event. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> what tank did you guys get from the snow globe? I don't even remember, dude. Uh, maybe they will, though. <laughs> I didn't get it in time. I lost motivation last year. It feels bad. Um, you guys are just going crazy about them snow gloves. Imagine. Oh, thank you so much, by the way. 100 likes. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Good stuff. Hmm. Kranwagen 50B IS7 V4 TVP Once again, I'm probably going to end up going right here I just really Dunes is good if you're in a tank With a decently low profile That can hold down um, It's really nasty For a giant barn That is the Amex 50B's gigantic bag of a forehead that just uh, makes it really difficult to play in shallow terrain. So that's why I'm going to go right here. Um, hopefully I have some kind of support. I'm going to start out just by spotting though. We're just going to spot up, see where their heavies are headed. Uh, there's a good chance they could head this way. So as we do not know exactly the positioning and as I do not necessarily have support as most of my allies are content to spawn snipe, I'm going to take it a little bit easy for now. Just a little bit easy. Okay, the 140. Now... Now, that no one's been spotted at this point in town. I think there's a fairly decent chance their team is, for the most part, going to be in dunes. Oh, gosh, this traverse is so slow. There we go. And let's see if we can take advantage of maybe a Kranwagen crossing or any other TDs that might be spotted out here. Well, not a TD, but I will happily shoot the enemy's Amex 50B. Another HE into his rear as well. This 50B doesn't seem like he has much of a clue of what he's doing. I'll take a shot from him, but oh, my gosh. 2,000 damage into the 50B there. I will happily take that. You can see if I'd gotten dunes, look, all these dudes are spawn sniping. If I pushed into the dunes, I'd be dead with the TVP. I hate having to leave the dunes like that, but you just cannot trust in your allies, especially to fully support you. And it's much wiser to take a safer approach, which I did this game, uh, which was going into town. Okay, there's the 50B. All right, so 50B is running away pretty, pretty quickly here. The, the Object 268 version 4 is pushing back into the town. Sadly, we do fluff that shell ever so slightly. The second one does go in at least. So we at least know where the V4 is. Let's reload our magazine here. I'm just going to have to bank on my team holding the dunes pretty well. Um, I can casually start farming out this side here. But I can't really overcommit anywhere. We might have shots on this... Okay, never mind. I should have held my clip. Man, I could have been clipping out this dude. Sometimes I get a little bit into the habit of just reloading automatically after shells. And yeah, it can actually bite in the back sometimes. But also, other times it's nice to have that full magazine. Oh, interesting. So there's the Object 268 V4. I like how the V4 actually has a worse camel rating than the 50B. That's honestly impressive. Okay, he does spot me up now. So let's just try and pull away from this dude. Okay, good stuff. Um... 
60 TP did lose a boatload of HP. Problem is, is like the, the V4 is going to be hard for APCR to pen. This is where having heat is nice. But we do have to clear out the side. But the 405 and the... Um, yeah, the 405 and the 50 B could be cross-firing out the cover at him, which could be very, very problematic here. Uh, okay. I just need to put, like, three shots in him and make him a guaranteed clip for me. There we go. One quick shot on the hand there. We managed to get him to fluff a shell as well. Another shot into him. Good stuff. Now, I'm going to pull down and reload before I get hit in the side. I'm just trying to slowly whittle down this V4. And I know this is a slightly boring gameplay, but... You'll notice, compared to my allies, I am just not allowing myself to bleed a boatload of HP. Because we're going to need that HP end game for making those clears. Now, we know there's a tank back there. Could be the 50B. Uh, wasn't the TVP. That was way too high of alpha damage to be the TVP there. So, let's see if we can do anything about this V4. Okay. Oh, there's the 50B. So, it wasn't the 50B either. I7 getting absolutely hammered there on the crossing. Okay, I was kind of hoping that would not happen. There's the TVP. So is the 4005 shooting at me. I kind of figured that might be the case. STB spotting that side up. I'm going to sit behind this rock for now. Oop, there's there's the V4. Let's see, we can bait a shell out of him. We do manage to bait one shot. Sadly, and here's where I'm going to really be a little bit annoyed by the 50B's abysmal accuracy. As you can see, it cannot hit. Very well at distance. And I, that's just one change that I will never forget Wargaming for. Ruining the 50B's accuracy. It makes this tank so annoying to play at distance. That's why I'm trying to put myself in town engagements where I can really engage the enemy team from a close proximity. Because then it's fine. You know, that's fine then. The issues arrive the moment that you have to start shooting anything at a distance. Alright, so we don't want to, do we know where that 50B is? Not quite. Alright. Trying to spot up their 50B. No, I do get spotted by something. So there's someone around this corner here. It is the enemy's 50B. Unfortunately, that shot goes to Narnia. That one does go in, however. We should be able to pick up a kill on this dude momentarily. Good stuff. Nice. We also know where the Kron is. I'm going to reload my magazine. Not the highest damage game. We will end up with probably close to 4,000 damage if we get a clip onto these heavy tanks. Um, I got to watch out for the Kron, though. He can one clip me, which would be a little annoying if he did that, you know, especially with me being close to this game. Uh, the 50B is going to clip that dude. Actually, we might not even get 4,000 damage out this game. Yeah, the, the, the 405 is going to ruin this dude's day. Absolutely. I'll get one shell into him. Oh, wait. We might be able to get some shots into the I-7, though. Nah, that 405 is going to ruin him as well. Is a GG. Is a GG. We got 3.8, I think. Somewhere around there. I will happily take that. I know I played a very passive game there. Sorry if that was boring. I'm just not willing to throw my tank away. And my HP away for, you know, no reason, you know? Uh, <laughs> no, not Genshin. <laughs> Genshin kind of series. I've never played Genshin. Nor do I have plan on it. <laughs> 3,700 damage. We did okay. A bit of a boring game, I know. Um, distance 50B is not fun to play. It's good close quarters and you can catch those players off guard and yoink them for 1,500 damage. G6AV4 needs some aiming training and discipline. <laughs> Dude was rushing his shots. Saying, <laughs> have you ever tried running it with supercharged? Actually, Trace, I am running with supercharged and the, um, and the dispersion reduction because I got tired of my 50B missing its shots. It was even worse before I switched my equipment. I actually low-key think this equipment's not that bad on the 50B. Have you played chess? Uh, when I was younger. I was like 10 or 11, I think I played chess with my brother quite a bit. Not so much recently. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Good holding tanks and good holding TDs. Do we have decent meds? We have a Progetto. I'm gonna go help our Progetto clear the flank. I don't want us to lose this side. I usually like to play towards the bridge, but... In my opinion, they have slightly better holding heavies than us, and they have slightly annoying TDs that can sit behind and nuke me. And since we have a bit of a disadvantage on this medium side, right, just a Progetto. I don't want our poor Progetto to just die alone. Uh, I, I'm going to move over to this side and see if I can really help clear out this flank as quickly as possible. Now, 268's over there. We don't know where the 183 is located, sadly. We do know where the Progetto is located. Me and this Badger, we might be able to make a bit of an aggro play here. This is going to be amazingly aggro. Let's hope I do not regret this play later on, which I might regret right about now. Oh my gosh. So, of course, Z-Type 71 pushing in, as as most, most Type 71s do enjoy doing that. Put another track shot into this dude. 
We're gonna pick up a quick kill shot on him as well. Okay, so I mean, we cleared out one tank. We lost way too many hit points for it. Um, please don't tell me these these fools are just gonna YOLO in for me like this, right? Vickers, you are you're kidding me, right, buddy? You're absolutely kidding. <laughs> What, what, buddy, what is your plan? I was trying to not get HE'd by this dude. Okay. And now the types doing the same thing. Hello, players? I'm reloading my magazine. All right, all right, all right. We can APCR this dude for days. Okay, Badger, shoot him. Nice, another quick shell into him. Good stuff. Let's uh, put a quick kill shot into the Zerkers. There we go. Let's wait for the type to shoot at the Badger once, I think. Okay, buddy, let's just push in, push in, push in. Please do not block all of my shots, buddy. And face hugging when you don't need to. Complete waste of my time. All right. Let's see. We see where the 268 is. I don't know where the 183 is. That's what concerns me. Let's just reload what we can. So that went pretty well, thanks to the Badger's support. And um, I guess the Progetto did okay. The Progetto kind of was a little bit more passive there than I had anticipated. But I'll take it all the same. I'll take it all the same. All right. So there's the IS-4. No, where's that 183 at? There's the 183. Alright, 183 has just fired at our IS-4, so let's take advantage of that to try and farm him out for a little bit of damage before it's late. But we did a good job there. I think clearing out the M60 was a wise idea. Alright. We can afford, I think... Uh, I don't want to risk it. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah, that's right, buddy. Yeah, you, you keep doing that. Good, good work. <laughs> we missed him from Point Blake. Ain't no way, buddy. Ain't no way. <laughs> All right, some more last second damage, please and thank you. I does need damage. Oh wait, we don't know where the 268. I mean, the 268's back here. We don't know what shots, he, what kind of shots he has. All right, one quick shot to this dude. Let's get that farm in on the 268. Good stuff. And we got about 3k. Oh, and eyes for the crush kill. Um, 3k could be a whole lot worse. I will take that. Um, decent game in the end. I have no clue what the the Vickers and the type were doing. They I was not expecting them to keep yoloing in circles like that. Uh, it kind of bit them in the back a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the poor M60. Dude couldn't even escape. He got perma-tracked. See you later, Curious. Thanks for dropping by. Snipe here. Canadian time zone for real. Cosmetic. Have a good night. This might be my new tank to grind. It looks strong. In, in the right hands, for sure. The 50B can be very, very strong. Um... It was a lot stronger, you know, a year ago, but it's still very solid, especially with the recent changes. I've really been enjoying it. Like, I, I feel like I can play it again, and, and I don't feel like I, I would be better off just playing a 57 outright or something instead. All right. So, there's what we got. Heavies, more heavies, and more heavies. I think I'm going to try and take advantage of that. Um, going to the right side works if you have turret armor and a, you know, a decent profile. This takes a little too fat to work there, so we're gonna take the vehicle to the park instead. And hopefully... Hmm... Bash out the Yawn, 215 bt 125 I should be faster than all those tanks, even with sped boost. So let's see if we can take advantage of that, clip anyone on the crossing. That's gonna be the goal here. Alright, so if anyone does try and cross this way, we will clip them out. Oh, there's also a good chance their team just doesn't head this way because it is the worst spot because it's hard to cross through the open here and a lot of players do know that. It looks like that is what has happened here. So there's no one on the park side. A lot of players seem to have gone towards A. That's cool with me. Um, Jen here is probably going to spot up some fools when he's going for the big brain crossing. So let's see if there's anything we can do about farming that. Interesting. So there's a Baja. Oh, wait, I got spotted by Zibasha. I was not expecting to get spotted by that. Okay, good to know. All right, E100. <laughs> good luck hitting those shots. I th I'm thinking of what I want to do here. We can easily pen the E100's turret frontally. That's not a problem for me. I'm going to reload. I'm going to go back and defend our spawn. There's no point in trying to hold um, in the open. You can see what happened to our E100 here. And then we team we're going to get probably pretty confident and start pushing it behind us. So I'm going to go help our 268 instead. I think that's the wiser play. 268, picking up a nice kill there. So like Zibash shot the on is going for a bit of a YOLO run here. But that is going to be his mistake because he cannot push in there safely at all. Now the Bash shot the on is overextended. He is about to die. And he is, he is, he is surviving. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to face on this side. Okay, there's the Baja. Oh my gosh, all my farm is vanishing because everyone just keeps nicking these poor fools. 
You see what I mean when I say that the uh, the gun of this tank leaves a, a boatload to be desired? Its accuracy is so unreliable for snapshots. I do wish its on movement or at least on turret traverse dispersion was a little lower. Because it just cannot snapshot. And like you don't want to send the open in front of a badger or something. That's never going to go well for you. All right, let's see what, let's see what we can do here. Tiger Hunter's waiting for the 268 here. All right, he wanted fired. I mean, gosh, that was his whole turret front. How does that one not, like, even hit? There we go. Nice, there we go. Getting some more damage in now. I'll take that. Good stuff, 268. You're having a fun game over here. Let's see, E5's almost down. Two and five B's in A. Badger's gonna go down soon. So, as I am going to be banking on the damages here, I'm going to do the only smart play, which is to YOLO the two and five B before he has time to get killed by my allies. Hello, friend. Hello that. Well, hello that. Oh. Quick ram. Quick shot. Very nice. Another quick shell into this dude. Another quick shell into this dude. And another quick shell into this dude. I'll happily take that. There we go. Just over 3,000 damage. <laughs> Easy claps. They did tease mo models of Swedish TDs like a year ago. Did they? I, I I do not remember. Are you talking about for Litz? I'll take the job. It wasn't the highest. F How did our 268 farm 6k? Dude was this. He must have HE'd the standard B who was sitting in the open. The TI2 and the Batcha. And then he went for that insane farm at the end. I mean, good farm for him. Uh, I should have gone and yolo the standard B myself. And I could have gotten some more farm on him. But I'm glad at least the 268 had a good game. Hey, Vanis. Can you also showcase the Amex 30 or prototype? Oh. Uh Next time it's in stores, I can do a stream on it. It's just a kind of classic hold on to nine med, in my opinion. Um, nothing too crazy. <laughs> Did you already get your 3k average for the career? Yep. Yep, my account does have that 3k career. Hopefully, it will stay that way. I think that's the last game you the stream. I have. Skip. Um, skip Jedman. I in fact did. I, I lost two games on, um, I forget what maps, but I did about 6,000 damage both times and those games were very sad losses because I couldn't I couldn't get the uh, the big brain dubs out. I couldn't farm fast enough. Yeah, for the Type 71 video. Ew! Type 71. Ooh. Man, so have you heard about the offline rumors or there might be in Paris? Um, rumors are rumors. Until they're confirmed by Wargaming, I take everything with not just a grain of salt, a full two tablespoons of salt Stick that in your mouth without water and then think about those rumors. <laughs> um, I, I've heard rumors about an offline. Honestly, though, if Wargaming hasn't confirmed a thing, I would just pretend it's not going to happen. Don't get your hopes up. All right. So there's the chief and there's the yo. I don't know if the type's going to cross. So I'm just going to kind of preempt this corner for a little longer or the V4 maybe. Um, it's me and two other heavies here. So we are a bit outclassed. Okay, it's a VZ. Alright, let's put a quick shell towards him. Sadly, we get a bit of a ricochet there. Hmm. Okay. This might sound a little bit cray cray, but... I do not trust these heavy tanks in the slightest, and their Badger and 183 are both in Narnia. They cannot help us from where they are. I would feel really bad dipping on these fools, though. So I'm not gonna dip, I'm just gonna play real passive for the time being. Let's wait to see what happens. All right, buddy. Oh, nice. See, now this is this is perfect. This is perfect for me. All right, one quick shell into this dude. Good stuff. All right, let's just clip out the type since he's in the open. Another shell into him here. Nice. All right, 57. Stop pulling forward there, buddy. Another shell into the type here. We can at least make him a one shot, maybe. Ah, oh, where did that shell hit? Okay, let's just pull back and reload. Okay, we're doing okay, actually, but we are losing a whole lot of HP here really quickly. Look at the minimap. We have no support. It's just us three here. So, I'm going to prepare myself for the great escape. Um, and also the support of VZ just a little bit here when he starts getting yoloed like crazy. All right, perfect. Okay, so unfortunately, this dude does get ammo racked here. Put a quick track shot into this dude. All right. And it's now time to run away. So I put a quick shell towards this man's as well while running out. We're just going to go for the break for the mid. The mid is going to be the safest position for me at this point of time. Um, put another shell to the VZ here. I don't know where that shot went, but I'll take it. 
And now, if I am careful with my positioning here, I should be able to get safe around this corner and have the cover fire of our two meds. You see how I prepared myself to run away immediately? That's what you always have to be really situationally aware of when you're going to get YOLO'd and when you're at a massive disadvantage. Now, I hope our Badger gets his thick old tank's bute into this game because he is really the only tank that has HP and armor besides me. Uh, well, he has way more armor than me, so... Hopefully he can be a little more active. I'm gonna cover a 183 to the best of my ability. Let's focus out the V4. A bit more of an annoying tank to deal with here. All right, unfortunately the VZ does kill our homie here. And V4 is a bit distracted. So let's back up, reload. There's the yo, there's the other dudes, okay. Um, looks like the projectile's pushing forward. I'm gonna go get ready to kill the yo and the chieftain, hopefully. Let's see, is the yo pushing back for a projectile? I think he is. Yep, I'm gonna go help a Progetto then before he gets yellowed and dies. Alright, Progetto. Come here, buddy. Do not die. Nice. He at least made them clickable to me. The most important part is he made it so I can kill him. So I'm gonna be a bit happier about that. Alright, one quick shell into this fool. Good stuff. Another quick shell into this fool. And let's get ready for the Chieftain. Chieftain is not poking. APCR. Nice. We got that clear here. Chieftain trying to run away. Another shell. Nice. See, there we go. Play it smart. You don't have to play too hard. We were able to just locate there very well and not the highest farm game, but we do manage to pull out about 4,000 or so damage before it's game over. Hopefully the, VZ, hopefully the VZ can give me a little bit of farm here. I'm assuming the Badger has what it takes to clear this dude. If not, I shall clear him out myself. All right, perfect. And now we can get about 5,000 damage out, hopefully, if we can pin the next three shells onto this VZ here, which is the plan. Which is the plan. Now, the VZ cannot side-scrape very well, so let's put one shell into him here. Oh, come here, Mr. VZ. How is your day going so far, buddy? Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Oh, okay, I do not have the gun depression from there. Oh, come on, a little more gun depression. Thank you. Perfect, thank you. And that's about five and a half thousand damage. Not a bad game. I'll take it. That's a, a solid GG. Uh, Fanny, can you tell me the chances of artillery coming to blitz? The chances are very, very low, I would say. <laughs> you don't, you, I mean, the last time Wargaming hinted at it, it was during April Fools. They were joking. I just ate the best toy pizza known to man. Hey, congratulations. Hey, we finally aced the 50B. What you know? Good stuff. Yeah, man, 50B, working like a charm. 36.13, I have so many games in this tank that I'm not going to ever increase its average, sadly, but um, I think we're doing pretty good in it so far. I'm, I'm really, really liking the 50B. Hey, Curious, you're back already? I thought you said you'd be gone for an hour. <laughs> I can't... For I can't ferment dude's name. Huh? Ferment it? Why would you want to ferment someone's name? I don't understand. I am confusion. Okay. This might be a mistake. Eh, basically, it. maybe it'll work out for me. At least we have an 18 kilometer an hour reverse speed. So let's see if we can make the almighty 50B work well in this scenario. Let's see. And we're going to slow down our mobility here a little bit. One quick shot to him here. Let's wait till he gives me a track shot. Boom. Track shot to him right there. Another shell to him there. 299, bit of a low roll, but I'll take it. And he's dead. Poor, poor, poor soul. Dude was just chilling. He has no clue what happened to him. He just woke up one day and he was dead. RIP to our brother. Okay. Sheridan. We can absolutely push in on these heavies here. Now, the reason I say we can push on these heavies soon is they are about to get pushed on from behind. And when that happens, they are going to turn around and their days are going to be miserable. So, boils. Hope you are ready to be pushed on. And I do have to watch out for that 183's positioning. 183. I think that was the 183 firing. I can't quite tell. It was not. I'm going to push in anyways. Now, now's, now's a good opportunity to push in on this VK here. All right. So the VK is a bit distracted. One quick shot to him there. Maybe another quick shot to him there. Good stuff. Now he is a one shot. We can pick up a kill on him as well. Oh my gosh. The low rolls for days. Um, okay. Well, this dude picked up the kill. Um, let's not push into a 183, although he might be on a reload. Well, he is not on a reload. That's good. I thought he just killed someone. Or I thought he just shot at the dudes up top because he was backing up like crazy. That was a bit of a mistake on my part, but we should be fine. 
It's still gonna be, I think, a GG in the end. We're up 4-0. Yeah, we're up 4-0. There's no way they really make a comeback here with uh, 3 versus 7. So I guess the 23 was just holding his shots like a mad lad. Alright. 23 just fired again. I gotta watch out for that E100. He could totally nuke my day if I am not careful here. What about Mr. 1A3? One shot. Two shot. Kill shot. Good stuff. Now they still have an E100, so let's put another shot to the Sheridan here. Nice. I think the E100 is gonna be behind us somewhere. Oh, he might get the 183. RIP to our brother. Mr. 183. And uh, maybe if we're lucky, we'll get one more, uh, one more magazine in towards this E100 here. So let's see. He's going to be waiting for me. So I got to wait for him to shoot again. So six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. All right. APCR. Nice little max roll there. Another APCR. And 5,000 plus damage again. I am loving this tank. I think he's insane. <laughs> Bro, Fatty, I heard someone say you're at 71. That's, that's my, that's my thing. <laughs> well, I think that is iPad Pro. First thing I see, hi, Dragon. It don't matter, Dragon. It don't matter. I still busted out the 5K easy dubs. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Although, to be fair, that game would have been a little more fun if I wasn't hashed. But it didn't really impact the outcome in the end. I still got the exact same amount of farm, if not more, because I wouldn't have gotten that last shell off. Uh, so, I'll take it. I'll take it. Hmm. One shot, two shot, kill shot. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, that's a lot of heavies. I don't know how I feel about it. Honestly, I pre think I prefer facing my one my 50B on the right side. And the only reason I'm not going to do that is I would feel really bad if I abandoned my meds and they just got steamrolled on this side. So I'm going to see if I can try and help them. Although I'm a little bit um, unsure about making a play on this side. I think the 50B does work a lot better on the right side. Let's see what we can do regardless. And this 4005 will be spotting for us here as well. Absolute big brain 4005 here. Let's see. Surely one of their TDs gets spotted pushing up. Come on, little guys. Where are you at? Where are you? You see, it requires to take 1251 to hit that 5k. Yeah, you see, it's easy claps, brother. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my gosh. That was a bad shot by me. There we go. That was a better shot. Casey backs up. I don't know if he's backing up, so I'll just shoot behind me a little bit there. Alright, so there's a Progetto in our spawn. That's going to be real annoying to deal with, I'll tell you that. Matter of fact, it's going to be so annoying to deal with that I might just help our WZ clear him out at this point. Yeah, you can see he's climbing our 60TP Lewandowski, so... Let's just clear out the, uh, the pro 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 Progetto... And then after that, we can worry about other things. Yeah, this is going to be the smarter play. Because if this Progetto is allowed to sit here all game, it's going to be an absolute farm fest for him. Really? Oh my goodness. Well, that was not very desirable for sure. We get one important ricochet here. Second important shot dealt. Okay. So apparently the 183 is sitting in the back of their spawn as well. It's not expecting that, but there you have it. The game could still be going worse. Could still be going worse here. Where did 183? Is he just sitting at the back of their spawn? And the fact that he hit that was pretty lucky. All the same, I still 100% believe this was the right play to make. Because otherwise, Progetto, Hori, all these tanks would still be farming our flank for free. And this has allowed our team to get a lot more freed up. Because they we know they have like four tanks out of the fight on us over on this side. So, it may have hurt a little bit, but... I still think it was the right play. Let's see. Okay, the object is definitely moving in for some shots here soon. I'm just waiting for an opportunity to maybe kill this object here. A right, quick track shot into this dude. Second track shot, Let's see if we can bait a shell out of him maybe. Not quite. Third track shot, and we can APCR it. Oh, that was a bad shell by me. Wow, okay, so my team has actually thrown this. I was not expecting them to throw that. Buddies, buddies, what you guys doing over here? <laughs> they should not have done that in mid, man. 
If our 60 TP was paying a little bit more attention, he could have just pulled back a little bit. Just the average 1 3 hitting those shots. I know, right? 1 3 is a, is a bruh. He's just sitting in the back of their spawn, as most typical 1 3s do. We might be able to... Actually, there's no way we're winning this. I take that back. <laughs> Well, I did say if I die early enough in a game, I can take the Amex 5120 out. Honestly, in retrospect, although I was not to know this at the time when I rotated back, I also uh, didn't think I was going to be getting spotted rotating back. But unfortunately, as the 60 TP backed up right as I was rotating out, their object just crested the ridge and spotted me. Otherwise, it would have been fine on the rotation back. We'll take the 5120 for a spin because this is kind of a cool thing. Also, I'm going to kind of yellow around in it because I want to get back to tier 10. Um, if I just pushed left side, we would have been fine. I think that was my first like actual bad game in the 50B all stream. So, you know, one one bad game out of 100 and, well, not 120 minutes, out of about uh, 80 minutes of gameplay, uh, I will take that ratio very well. And it was just, it was just unlucky timing on my part for when I decided to rotate back. All right. So I see that the Amex 5120 suffers from the same inaccuracy issues as the, uh, as the 51 f the 50b it does have the same reverse speed too i think the 5120 did get some very similar changes to the 50b uh less interclip and same reverse but only has three shells instead of four all right so all their heavies are just sitting here staring at me because you know typical heavy tank stuff oh interesting all right now the only thing that's annoying about the 5120 is it completely lacks gun depression and wow all I can say is this dude is incredibly lucky. Let's just HE splash him. There we go. But it's a nice tank. It, it feels a lot more like the old 50B, in my opinion. All right. Let's go, buddies. Mm, we should be fine for now. Our conf is kind of bleeding out, but I, I don't think it's the end of the world. Nice. The only thing I miss about the tier 9... Um, this tank in tier 9 is when it had the... The Giga Chad shots. All right, we're gonna take maybe a shot here. That's fine by me. Lower plate, nice max roll there too. Guarantee he's a one shot now. All right. I'll just make an APCR one shot in case. I'm playing it a little easy here because I'm kind of getting farmed out. The 50 TP, 53 TP should be able to kill him pretty soon. You got this buddy, I believe in you. Good stuff. Nice. I think this game's gonna be a dub. Pretty, pretty, a pretty easy dub here. Quick shell into this dude's lower plate. Good stuff. He just fired as well, so let's aim another shell in. Ooh, this accuracy is, is not the most of way to go, but we are hitting our shots. There we go. 2,770 damage dealt. Now, my team should be able to deal with the heavy side, I think. I'm gonna go. One, two, three, four. I guess I'll go back for the Chimera. Ooh, that's not good. I'm still gonna go back for the Chimera. I think I think we need to clear out the rear. We gotta be really careful here though. Mostly because I know that the other dude's not gonna die very fast, but I'm a bit more concerned about what happens to the players up here. Nice, please don't hit that. Of, of course he hits that. Now I'm a one shot to the Chimera, great. <sighs> Dude is just yellowing into the open sideways. Nice meme. Okay. I don't know where the Chimera is, and our TI2 is kind of in Narnia where he can't help me, so. I guess I'll just have to rotate back. Let's wait for this dude to not spot me when rotating out. Okay. Oh, wait, maybe. Maybe just maybe. If we don't low roll, we can kill him here. I'll know if we can. It's a bit risky. I'm scared. Okay. Don't low roll. Nice. We didn't low roll. Let's go, guys. Let's go. All right. Now we just have to kill the Chimera. Bit of a sweaty tier 9 game. 5120 feels nice. It still has the same boat-like traverse that I'm not a huge fan of on these tanks, but at least his turret traverse is a lot better. But is the Shield Hero Season 2? How was it? Uh, Camo, it was mid as can be. I will tell you that. <laughs> Mostly. I'm not going to say it was the show's fault. 
All right, fast. Got to work in the morning. I'll catch you later. Mike Ozowski, thank you so much for dropping by and for the support. Really do appreciate it. I hope you have a great day at work. Um, it's not that the studio itself is awful, I would say, because it had to cover the arc. But the light novels, it was just a the worst part of the series in general that they were covering. And then you had giant CGI tortoise, which is a uh, yikers. Um, hopefully season three will be better. We'll see. I don't know if shield here will ever rise to the level it had at season one though. Okay. So moving on, <laughs> moving on back to the 50 B. Now that I have, uh, had a very sweaty tier nine game in the 5120. You see that the 5120 actually does feel like a very solid tank as well. Um, gun's a bit derpy for my liking, especially for only having six degrees of gun depression. There are definitely a lot of things I, I wish the 5120 had a little better, but that's from a tier 10 perspective. As far as tier nines are concerned, it is a very solid tier nine. It was in for a track shot, maybe. Sadly, unable to connect the tracking shot there. Let's see if anyone else decides to crash. I'm gonna load up APCR just so I don't have to worry about penetration if a mouse is the first thing to appear, or Yag. You know, either, either case works for me. All right, there's the Yag, there's the V4. Well, he might have time for the 57 starts poking up as well. So here's the 57. He's not quite poking all the way. He's thinking about it. I think this is a decent holding position for us. Oh, the mouse is not here. How strange. I was not expecting that. Quick shell to the 57 heavy. Another quick shell to the 57 heavy. And that's a full clip. 1600 or so damage, just about. I will happily take that. The mouse is going on the flank, which is really kind of shocker. He's just cutting through the mid. I can't wait for him to pop up on my right side magically in a few minutes. Um, I assume he's going to have support soon. The enemy team are not going to like just having to sit here all game, so we might even have to rotate out ourselves pretty soon. Because we know that mouse is flanking. We know he probably has some kind of support there. Ooh. So there's the 57. Man, it feels great having 18 kilometer an hour reverse speed on this tank. There's the mouse. Okay. One shell to Mr. Mousy Poo. And let's see if we can track the Yag while we're at it. One track shot to the Yeageru. Two shots to the Yeageru. Maybe with the interclip? Come on. Tell you, man. 2.7 second interclip. Only reason I picked up that kill. Old 50B never could have done that with a two, with this 3.0 uh, interclip reload. It's so nice having that 2.7 interclip, man. It honestly is so, so nice. Also, I really don't want to get 1A3 again. I'm, I'm kind of tired of getting 1A3 in my 50B. One poor flabby 50B is just getting wrecked by 1A3s here, left, right, and center. Another shell to this dude. Very good stuff. Oh, it's a V4? Almost. Almost. Oh, wait, I can reload. <gasps> hey, yeah, that's why we didn't cross, ladies and gentlemen. That's why we didn't cross. Z183 was waiting for us. Hey, yo, what's up, bro? Paid actors for LLC deposit. Russian disaster with a $50 donation. Thank you very, very much for the support. I really appreciate it. Did the mouse just get hashed? Thank you very much, Russian disaster. Good to see you. I'm glad you were able to uh, catch today's live stream before it was over. What? Okay. Okay. I, I just give up at this point. <laughs> I just give up at this point, guys. Thank you very much, Russian Disaster. G great to see you, by the way. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. This will be my damage, not yours. Mine? Mine? <laughs> Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Let me farm you. Yes. This is good. No, do not get farmed by others. Come here. Yes, just about 5,000 damage dealt. Good stuff. Ooh. Well, let's get the rest of the disaster I was taking. <laughs> I was uh, talking to you on Discord the other day. Yep, he, uh, yeah, he was. It's good that we're able to at least still communicate in Discord when he's busy. Hey, we got the ace. Finally, making up for my, uh, my absolute bottomless prime gameplay that I, uh, I had last game. Although, to be fair, that was just a very bad timing on the rotation out, unfortunately, that I got spotted there. Le ramming kill. Yes, le ramming kill is insane. When I thought your ice cream win, fatness. I am pretty sure, dude, um, that the 183 is is likely the tank that I have streamed most on this channel. It's had the most streams dedicated to it. So we might hold off on the 183 for a <laughs> I'm hoping for Emerson Shadow Season 2. Ah, curious. You don't have to hope. You just have to wait. October. 
2023 season two probably 12 episodes is going to be released a new trailer came out for it recently enjoy curious enjoy the peak uh the peak fiction i'm gonna go town i guess because it looks like our heavies are going town so i don't mind going town with them they might send their heavies to town as well who knows sound like bane the damage farmer until you and all <laughs> dust on it <laughs> yes yes very good very good okay so we have a vz here mm, interesting interesting vz are you gonna cross buddy okay one free shot one free shot all right two free shot two free shots three free shots anyone three free shots coming up three free shots maybe not quite all right, let's aim for that haul weakness. Not quite able to. I'm going to go to the corner, get hauled down, and we're going to have a fun old time up in this corner here. Okay. Oi, 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 Mr. E4. You are not actually thinking of crossing now, are you? Yes, that's right. Nothing good can come of this. Oh, I just have to watch for my rear. Yoink. Let's see, is my rear safe? Not really. Okay, I gotta drop down from here. This is a bit of a yikers for me, buddy. Um, actually, this is a mega yikers for me, buddy. It's okay. My, my front is safe. My front is secure. I just gotta get safe, uh, safer from the T124. That's gonna be a problem soon. I didn't think the Progetto was gonna pop up from Narnia, dude. That's what that's what threw me off here a little bit. All right, let's wait for the E4, E4 to push up and shoot, maybe. E4 just fired. Let's let, let's let our comp fencer back up around the corner here. Nice. One more quick lower plate shell into this dude. Good stuff. E4 only has about a 10 second reload or so. So let's just be careful not to take one unnecessarily. Uh, we also have a VK over on this flank here. Oh man, the 50B cannot hit anything from distance, man. I also have a 183. This has been such a wild game. Okay, buddy, are you serious? Yeah, you're just gonna broadside a 183 that's almost loaded up. That cannot be a good plan, buddy. Just as I stated, that cannot be a good plan. Absolute abysmal farm game, dude. I don't know what the enemy team was doing. They were just YOLOing like crazy here. How does that miss? Wait, where did it even go? I am so tired of this, uh, this 50B RNGs being a little bit too troll for my liking, buddy. I'm not even gonna get 4K out or 3K. No. Oh, well, it is what it is. Oh, he didn't kill the VK. But, eh, you had kill shot too. Okay. I get it, I get it. Mans was on that uh, damage grind set mindset. <laughs> I'll take the dub. Farmland Saga, let's go. Easy. But it wasn't a Farmland Saga. We done failed. I don't know what the heck the enemy team was doing that game. They were just YOLOing all over. And I couldn't, like, get a good position to farm them because they were so spread out all along the map. Um, we did okay damage in the end, but my gosh. Well, my food is here now. I'm going to be back in one hour. You said that 45 minutes ago, Curious. I look forward to seeing you in 30 minutes. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> The 5120 has a four shot clip now. Maybe you'll like it. Uh, Takumi Fujiwara. I don't know if you're thinking about the 100 millimeter or the 120. Because if you're talking about the 100 millimeter, yeah, sure, it has a four shot magazine, but it's it's not going to be all that amazing. Why not just yell the E4 and clip them? Uh, because, Dragon, I accidentally fell backwards off the cliff when I was trying to bait a shot into the top of my turret there. And my tank couldn't drive back up it, so I was forced to retreat. That's why. I was actually going to bait him and just YOLO him, but then I fell backwards and I would have lost too much HP trying to push back up. So I had to make the sacrifice that I didn't want to make and just back out of there. If, if I hadn't accidentally fallen off the back of the cliff, it would have been a different story. So is their whole team going left? I think their whole team's going left. Good to know. All right. We might be able to clear one of their TDs pretty early. Let's see. We do have quite a few players crossing with us, so that could be a lot worse. The only problem is they could easily yellow back with, you know, 2 and 5B and some other nasty vehicle, auto-loading vehicles, and that would make our life a bit difficult. But if we're able to run away, it's not a problem. 
Oh, I just barely didn't have the gun depression to perma track that dude. That would have been insane. Oh well. Hmm. I have some support, technically speaking. Is it enough? I don't know. I'm gonna push up to the corner all the same. Alright, here's what we got here. Oh my goodness. And of course, they have a 4005 up here. The one tank I was hoping not to face up top. We managed to track him again. Come on, TVP, kill him. Good stuff, TVP. At least we full clipped him. All right. And uh, Miguel here in the 205B is going to go down soon as well. I didn't think the 4005 was going to just YOLO back to their spawn like that, especially since most of their teams go in the opposite direction. It kind of caught me off guard a little bit. I knew their 183 is going to be up there, so I'm just holding passively for now. Let's see, if this STB pulls forward again, we might be able to perma track him. Had to itch my nose. Got STB, pull forward again, buddy. Yes, 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 yes. No. Sag. Big Sag. Probably spotted too from that. Well, not quite. Hmm. Come on, STB. You gonna pull forward, buddy? I feel like I should be farming mid, but I don't want to leave our 60 TP here. But yeah, farming mid's probably the best play for me at this point. I still have three shells left in the mag, so I may as well try to take advantage of that. Let's see, the 183 is in a potential position to cross fire me out here soon. As long as he doesn't hit me while I'm running away, I should be fine. Okay, let's reload. Alright. Reloading and relocating. Because I don't want to stay stuck in that corner, and I think our VK is going to be more than fine for now. There's the 57. Our 60 TP is getting is being a little bit of the bait. Oh, the VK is getting a load, I think, now. I don't want to overcommit anywhere. Especially since I know that 183 likes to tunnel me quite a bit. So I have to make sure if I do commit, it's somewhere safe. Nice, 183. Good stuff, buddy. Alright, let's go the STB and the Progetto. Hello, Progetto! I'll be ready to rock and rumble, buddy! Oh! Nasty hit to the Progetto. VK, finish him off, buddy. VK, I said to finish him off, not to sit there and bounce your shot and miss him from point blank when he sideways to you. <laughs> it is close. It is close. Come on, VK. Do not bounce. VK, you're killing me over here, buddy. You are actually killing me, buddy. There's no way you're missing these shots, man. Here, I'll make it easier for you. He's an HEable target now. How hard can it be, buddy? Okay, okay. Hit the 57 pulls forward a little bit. Do not die. Do not die, 60 TP. Oh gosh, he done died. Wait, this dude still hasn't killed the Progetto. Ain't no way. Okay, at least the VK's farming up here to some extent. I, on the other hand... Oh, actually, no, I gotta keep pulling away. Um, I gotta be faster than him. I gotta be faster than him. Please do not HE clip me. No! Oh, I done messed up a little bit here, buddy. I done messed up big time. No! I didn't think he was just gonna YOLO through the open like that. Bruh! And, of course, he hit those track shots. Though, he threw his tank away for it. And low-key, as long as Ricardo Herrera... Henry over here doesn't mess up his shots. We're fine. Oh, he clutches. He clutches at the end. I like how this. I like how this VK was like missing every shot on the uh, Progetto, and I had to pick up the Progetto. And then once I die, he ends up um, clutching up at the end. So I guess GG in the end, VK. GG in the end. I, I was a little uncertain there for a moment. The 57 kind of threw his tank when he way overextended the clip me there. So I will take that. It's fine. The VK actually went back and killed him, which was not a bad play. I thought the 57 would kind of sit back a little further. Instead of just YOLOing into the open where the VK could easily shoot him. <laughs> and then he hits that. I know, right? VK is built different, Dragon. <laughs> So we got about 4.5k damage out. My mistake was trying to push back up the hill, but it was more or less when I paused. Because if I kept the momentum up, I probably would have made it out there safely. Um, it's because I it's because I did a little bit of a pause there for a moment that I, that I was able to let the 57 kill me there. Um, don't do that. You have to full commit or don't commit at all. 
That's the only thing you can do in situations like that, you know? All right. So we do have shots on this V4 here. One quick shot to the V4. Let's see, no one else has shots on me yet, I think. There's no 183s in this game. Thank you. That's a blessing, honestly. There's a TI-5 as well. Can't quite hit that. Okay. We have shots on this 57. If he pokes up a little more, maybe. Yeah, it's kind of just hit or miss shots at this point. I don't think I can even hit that. Run back here. Hmm. There we go. Quick shot to the 57. All right. Well, we got a decent crossfire in the mid here. TI-5 is going to drop down. Um, the issue is our lower right side is going to get absolutely flattened soon. So I am going to be forced to pull back a little bit in just a moment's time. Especially since I don't have much support here once the enemy team do decide to rotate back. Yeah, we're going to have to pull out of here. I hate to abandon our chieftain like this, but there's there's no other choice. We're going to have to help our E50M and those dudes get a crossfire going from back here. So let's see. Luckily for me, the 57's making a bit of a yikers push in the middle here. Okay, see, like, how do shots like that just miss in this tank? Come on, 50B. Come on. Have a respectable gun for once. Thank you. Mm -hmm. One quick shot on him there. We might just... I'll just end up taking one. I'll eat it, and I'll put two in return. That's still a better trade for me. And please sit there all game. Thank you. Please and thank you. <laughs> there we go. Good stuff, boys. Good stuff. I'm proud of you. All right. So I'm going to have to get ready for our flank, which is going to potentially be pushed here. Oh, second 57 heavy. Pushing a really aggro into the mid here. Um, I want to shoot the 57. Oh, nice. We get a track shot. Second shot. Okay. We're going to keep aiming for those tracks. Nice. I pick up a nice kill on him there. Let's see if this type gives me a shot as well. Good stuff. I'll take that. There's only three tanks left, and just like that, it's GG, I guess. Not a bad game. At least we got the dub. At least we got the dub. Um, not a whole lot of farm here, because their team is getting slam dunked on. Instead of holding the mid passively, they're just YOLOing into open positions for our players. But that's really biting them in the back here, because they can't survive in that type of situation. All right. I don't want to waste another shell on this dude, to be honest. Yes, we are going to be damage farmers galore. I understand. Oh, uh, that's a rock. Uh, 4,550 damage, baby? Come on, come on, come on, Wilbur Pen. Oh, of course he damages that. <laughs> no. 50B gun handling said, nope, you shall not farm. Almost 200 likes, let's go. Hey, CJ, long time no see. Good to see you, dude. Goat Cardo. <laughs> hey, goat, goat. Where's the goat car when you need him? <laughs> okay, we did okay. We got 4K or so damage. Yo, I will happily take that. Didn't throw my takeaway unnecessarily there. <laughs> VK misses three shots to forget it, though, but he did clutch at the end, so win-win. I, I agree there. I 100% agree. My guy's playing 40 chess, tricking them into thinking he's bad. Hey, yo. <laughs> Insane plays. Oh, my gosh. Had to go to the gym and get some goat cardio. What's up, boys? <laughs> hey, CJ. 50V just love to say no to shots. Yeah. Yeah. That That's one thing I'm just going to... Just accept. The 50B's gun handling is doo-doo. Um, we can all just accept that. It's it's not good. For a 380 alpha damage gun, like... I'm pretty sure the Karo 45 has better gun handling than the 50B. And they both have, like, the same size magazine. Same alpha. The Karo even has better mobility and... Technically speaking, a, a uh, troll, but not perfect armor profile. So it's like, it does have you questioning um, the 50B's gun handling. However, the Kara also has a 3.5 second intra clip. So you're going to be sitting there aiming in a whole lot longer anyway. So maybe it doesn't matter too much in the end. All right. This might be a mistake. Yeah. This is a mistake in, in waiting. The reason I say this is no one's an A. If no one's in A, there's only one other area for most of their team to be located, and that is going towards town. Although, maybe they sent some tanks towards A. Let's see. Ooh, 2 and 5B might give me a full magazine here pretty soon. Oh, wait, no, he's not even on the inside. Wait, is their whole team in A? No way. 
All of these dudes actually went to A. I am so impressed by them. <laughs> that was the last thing I was expecting their team to do. Oh my gosh, track shot. I don't know what this 205B here is doing, but uh, sure thing, buddy. You you do you do you. I'm just gonna back up from here. I'm not gonna hit that, but I'm gonna back up. Okay. Well, that was a surprise and a half. I honestly thought their team was going A. And then they hit us with the Uno reverse card and show up out of Narnia all I mean at C. I thought they were heading C, but then they do the Uno reverse card and all end up at A. Like what? What the heck? I don't even understand what's going on anymore. Hold on, I know this conqueror here. He's about to have a real bad day. Okay. Alrighty, Mr. Konkawa. There's nowhere for you to run, buddy, so just accept your fate. What? Where did that even hit? That's my question, honestly. Might be better to just take the shot from the Conqueror here. He's not even shooting at me. That's cool. Um, yeah, I'll just have to take a shot from the Conqueror. Maybe two. No, just one. Just one. One, you ricochet those, maybe? Not quite. He's gonna die anyways. Alright, well, I'll take that, I guess. Oh my gosh, I misfired my- I miss hit my, uh, my fire button. Nice. Okay. That's about two magazines out. 3,000 or so damage has been dealt. We might even be able to do a little bit more before it's game over. Actually, it's a pretty close game. Um, where's the 50B headed? Oh, nice. E4 hitting a pretty clutch shot there. The good thing is is the uh, TBP has a 30 or so second reload. Uh, not 30. A uh, 23 or so second reload. So I should be able to clear him here. And then we can just heal the 50B as well. Although we're actually going to cap out. Maybe I shouldn't have killed him there. <laughs> Mistakes were made, guys. Mistakes were made. Come on, come on. One more shot. What? Hello? Hello? One more shot. Oh my gosh, the game ends so soon after you cap out. 50B actually has better gun handling than Karo. Ain't no way, Dragon. There ain't no way it's better than the Karo. I swear. <laughs> Maybe on paper, but there has to be some hidden stats, dude. I feel like the Karo's gun is extremely accurate for what it is. 50B don't kill off those vibes. <laughs> I don't know how that shot ricocheted on the back of the, um, on the back of the 50 beast turret there. That was a bit of a rip. But, I mean, we still got good damage out in the end. Just not as much as I wanted. Fan is scammed again. I know. That last, uh, that last second farm. It's partially my fault, though, for, um, killing the TVP. I, if I really wanted to optimize that damage farm and say I was trying to 4k the tank I would have dipped on the TVP to farm the 50b I know that's very selfish but that's what you got to do if you want to optimize that damage farm but I was just aiming for a casual dub plus damage farm so that's why I decided to pick up the kill in the end because I think the e4 would have killed him anyways regardless all right so let's see enemy team have some okay heavy right I was trying to adjust eh, never mind <laughs> I was trying to adjust the glove on my uh, thumb and I accidentally hit the fire button that's a nice meme Okay, anyone headed this way? TNH, Waffle. So far, no one spotted. 113. Uh, perhaps you're better off with the passive hold strat. I know I should probably reload my magazine. Oh, I could have spotted up the E50M if I had been more patient. Oh my gosh, I'm lagging. That was annoying. Come on, where's the E50M coming from? Wait, what is he doing? There is no way is he our players. There's just no way. Okay, I'm gonna flank. I was hesitant to push on the flank at first, but we can do it now. <laughs> we can do it now that we know where their entire team is, which is Narnia. Um, to be fair, I might be better off holding spawn, but I'm just gonna entrust to our TDs to do that job properly and push in to support the flank here. Aiming. Nice. You get one track shot in here. Three track shots in, I think. Just missing the third track shot there. Nice. 
Alright, so that's 1500 plus damage into the 113 there. I'm actually going to push into the enemy spawn. Hopefully the waffle doesn't hit me. Nice, he does not. So I can start creating that crossfire on their team. Because my team is not doing super well here. Um, maybe if we get lucky with some HE high rolls, we can kill the waffle as well. Um, we definitely can kill the 113 here in just a moment. So I'm going to wait for that opportunity to arise. I'm not going to get baited out before I don't, if I don't have to. Okay. Zaz the Waffenträger huh? just fired his gun. Let's wait for a track shot, maybe. Oh, we do damage his engine at least. Okay, he's a two shot. Oh, there's the Yagos Tracker, maybe. Lower plate. Do you manage to bait a shell out of him there? All right. I think these dudes are fine on this flank, maybe. I'm just gonna have to keep the uh, the Yag at bay. I'll keep the Yag. At oh no, they have a TVP as well. That's bad news. Here's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. I'm actually going to go back and help our TVP. Hopefully the Yak's not poking just now. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to go back and help our object here before he gets brained on. If I can keep him alive, this is an easy dub. I have a lot of HP here too, which is a good sign. Oh gosh. Oh, come on. The 50 beast traverse is so bad. Okay, there we go. Object, I just need you to stay alive, buddy. Alright, one kill on this dude. Hopefully the Yag doesn't hit me in the crossing here. Oh, snap. Of course. Of course. The Yag is all the way over here, bruh. That's a meme. And he rolls 1,300. He only has like 1,100 alpha, if I remember correctly. That's it. That's just, that's just, bruh. Of course, man. <sighs> How did these dudes die in spawn? They had one job. I'm going to wait to kill the Waffle. If I kill the Waffle, I might actually be able to get the dub here. Okay, so there's the Yag. He hasn't spotted me yet. Maybe I should just reload while I, get, while I have the chance here. I wonder which way the Yag's gonna come from. I'll be ready to run regardless. But man, that Yag got so lucky. He barely even hit that shot, by the way. <laughs> oh my gosh. Of course. Of course. What the heck? Where did you come from, buddy? Oh, oh my gosh. No, the traverse speed. No, the traverse speed is so bad. Oh my gosh, almost messed up my fire button there. Come on, come on, come on, traverse speed. One track shot. Two track shots, please don't have another repair kit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> oh my gosh, RNG. What is this RNG, brother? Oh my, okay, I guess you win some, you lose some. RNG was not having it this game, bro. RNG was not having it this game. What the heck was that? Holy smokes, man. Oh my gosh, I'm missing my fire button like crazy. <laughs> Yikers. <laughs> I don't even understand what happened this game. I don't want to try and understand what happened in this game either. My gosh. I just need two APCR shots to kill this dude in the end. Let's see. Okay, he's a one shot now. Let's reload. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I'm throwing and I'm not dead. Minute and 30 seconds left. Okay. I got so lucky that Yag hit my tracks, man. Honestly. He's going to expect me to poke from the other side, I would feel. Nope. Okay, there he is. Wait, he can't spot me. He can't spot me from there. Hold up. <sighs> that is dumb. What is the APCR alpha, man? What is the APCR alpha on this garbage gun? Oh my gosh. I miss hit my fire button so many times this game when I was trying to hit shots. And yeah, I kept missing my fire button and scoping out instead. Ugh. What is the APCR alpha? 320. Yeah, nice. Nice meme. What did I roll? 280 there? Oh gosh, that was garbage. I should have just pulled back and gone for a full reload. That's a rip, yeah. Typical, iron, typical RNG moment. 
Nice. Uh, the old 50B would have been better there. Firstly, it would have hit its shots a lot better, and secondly, it wouldn't have low rolled that, that much. I'm a little, I'm a little annoyed. I mean, to be fair, uh, I should have been dead a lot faster that game. Although, gosh, I don't know how the three tanks in my spawn could not kill a single waffle. Like, bruh. <laughs> you guys are just sitting in spawn. Our full HP object 260 just threw his vehicle away there too. If I didn't have to go back and help them, I could have kept the Yag at bay, but sadly that was just not the case. Mistakes may have been made here, ladies and gentlemen. We might be a little bit overextendo. I do have a 57 Heavy for support here, but will that be enough? Okay. Oh, he does fluff his force shell. This is going to be a bit of a rough fight. I do have a 57 for support. The only problem is the 57 is not good support here. Oh my gosh, I have a Minerato yellowing me now. Nice meme. Oh my gosh, everyone's hitting my hull. I have 24 to block damage so far. Let's go. Okay, I can back around the corner. Okay, maybe the 57 can hold here for a little while, I think. <laughs> that guy was close. Ay, ay, ay. That was close. I should have realized their whole team was going to YOLO town, but I mean, the good news is my allies can support now. I don't have to be so scared about what's going to happen. I just have to hold here for a little while longer. One quick shot to the 54 here. Another quick shot into this man's. I mean, I don't even know what's hitting me, but sure, buddy. Yeah, sure, 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 sure bro. I'm just going to reload. <laughs> uh, thank you for the 4,000 block damage. It is much appreciated. <laughs> People got aimed in a way. I know, right, dude? But nor can I. I, I don't know. I, my aim has been pretty trash in the last, like, couple of games and... It's kind of annoying me because usually it's okay. This has been pretty bad. Probably a little worse than usual. Oh, oh, come on, buddy. All right, let's aim for those fuel tanks. Damage, damage. Come on, come on, fuel tanks. Ah, not quite. Well, I guess that's a GG, guys. I guess that's just a GG. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh my gosh, dude got T30. Oh, I cannot wait to play the T30. Tank's gonna be insane when we get to finally play it. I will have to play the T30 up for the E4 because both tanks are cracked in their own way. All right. Oh my gosh, 57. The fat vehicle. There we go. <laughs> Counting now. Exile emoji so hard, bro. That that game was a. That game was a, it was a bruh moment. I was holding that corner and out of nowhere, like their whole team pops up. Instead of me losing like 2000 hit points, I block like in the end 4000 damage. I don't know how that happened. I should have been dead, especially when the 50B and the, and the Minotaro pulled in and everything. Amex is paper tank. It is. If it's caught out, the hall frontally is practically untenable, and the turret has some really weird auto ricochet angles, which can come in clutch. But it's nothing to rely on. Like it's pure RNG for the 50B, except except for the front of the hall. The front of the hall is the only thing that's great. <laughs> Seven. Amex is be ultra rich streamer tank since you can easily read chat during the downtime. Yeah, it, honestly, it's kind of nice. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Make an updated E4 tech tree showcase. That means I'll have to play the T28 prototype. I don't know if I want to. I don't know. I don't know if I want to, man. T28 proto is an uh, unpleasant experience, to say the least. E4 to be goaded, though. True that. True that, Nike. <laughs> Debating which one you had no, uh, no RNG battle with Yag and Waffenberg or the blocked damage. Um, skill issues. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, so here's the nice thing about the 50B uh, after update 10.0. You are fully, fully loaded when you start, which means instead of the 21 seconds it would take me to reload and get to the mid ridge, and we can just keep an eye on the clock. It's been about six seconds, seven seconds, eight, right? I could be fully loaded to start dealing damage in the mid right off the bat in about 15 seconds. So that's a lot better than, you know, having to reload for 23 seconds and stuff. All right, so there's a 57 heavy. Let's put a quick shell to him there. All right, he does put a quick shell towards me. Another quick shell to the 57 here. I can see that's a 2 and 5B is curious about shooting me. Let's aim another one in. I'm just going to aim my shots. 57 fluffing all of his shells. And we get a full clip in. Nice. 
Now, I know I took a shell from what I presume to be the Minerato there, but it was worth it to full clip the 57. And, Loki, it's kind of the toxic, nice thing about, uh, of the 10.0 autoloaders being fully loaded in when they start the game. So, let's see what we can do about this now. We know that the Minerato, or it could have been a high roll from the Yag Tiger, but that would have been a really high roll for a Yag Tiger. So, we know roughly their positioning. Quick shout out to the VK here. If the VK is forced to back up, we can start farming him out as well. Although, we will have to be careful of a potential Minerato. So, it actually was the Yag Tiger getting a mega high roll. Quick shout out to the Yag Tiger again. Sadly, that one goes to Narnia. Now that the Yag Tiger is backing up, we might be able to. Hmm, I think our 57 is okay. What you, what you doing there, buddy? What you doing there, Mr. 215B? Alright, you got that 57? I'm just gonna reload my magazine at this point. There's the Minnow, there's the STB, and there's the other players. So we can yield the 215B in a moment's time. I'm just don't, not gonna do it just yet, because I don't have a full magazine loaded. Once I am loaded, in about, at about six seconds is when I'll start sending it. Me and the Kron are both going to send it right about now. So let's enjoy our our very pleasant YOLO experience. Howdy, boss. How are you doing? I'm just going to pull back a little bit. Second shell here. Kill shot there. Let's see if we can do anything about Mr. Yag Tiger. He is right about there. Maybe he hit. Ah, 50 B accuracy goes burr. Let's pull back until the... Be careful with the Minotauro there. All right, so Yag Tiger will probably get cleared out eventually. I'm going to see if I can do anything to... No, these two dudes are going to die. When that happens, I'll have to rely on our E50M for support. Oh. Oh, come, come on, come on, come on. Oh, nice, guys. You got, the, you got the important kill there. That's all that mattered. All right, as long as our E50M doesn't throw his tank away, I think we'll be fine. Because we know, relatively speaking, what a Minotauro is, and we know the STB is going to that right corner. We know the one to one is stuck here now. That's the good news. See anyone else crossing? Ah, uh, there's the Minotauro. Interesting. Not quite expecting him to be up so far, but I will happily take a free shot into his cell. Okay, come on, man. If that's not cursed RNG, what is? <laughs> what is it? How did that miss? As I'm telling you, you gotta be really careful with your snapshots in this tank, dude. The Half the shots are just gonna go to Narnia. I probably should reload my magazine right about now, but yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna reload it so I can yell the STB when the time's right. Nice, we can start getting ready for the YOLO now. All right, boys, let's go. Time to send it on an STB one. It's Q Fox. I see. I remember this dude when he was in purple way back in the day. Good in times. Oh, 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 oh
to even three years before I can get my hands on some of the tanks that are released. <laughs> ain't no, ain't no way. <laughs> if I had, if I had uh, a giveaway, then maybe, but yeah, I, I don't like spending money on games if I can help it. <laughs> Alrighty. Plus, it's a Vindicator, dude. Trust when I say it's the most mid tank ever. You are not missing out. <laughs> but Spall Liner, ah, Spall Liner does make life a little easier. That is true. Hmm, there's the VZ. Okay. Oh my gosh. Well, that's going to hurt, baby. So, apparently, the Fosh could get there unspotted. So, that's that's cool, I guess. That, that's kind of a rip. He, he also ricochet pinned my turret somehow. Which is, which is also kind of cool, I guess. I kind of like this position if we can keep their TDs down. But the key word being if we can keep their TDs down. Which right now, we are not keeping their TDs down in the slightest. Hello? Are you guys going to do... Oh my gosh, no one's even covering the left side here. Oh my gosh, my team is garbage. Alright, well, the team has done messed up massively here. There's not really a whole lot I can do about this. They are in such awful positions. Hmm. It's okay for me to take my 50B there, but we kind of need people to hold the corner. Otherwise, they're just going to get farmed out like crazy. Which is exactly what is happening here. On the other hand... I thought he was going to shoot for me. That was a bad play by me. I shouldn't have missed that shot. That opportunity there was perfect. Hello? Guys, are you... Oh my gosh. My team has to be kidding right now. They're not keeping the quarter down. Ay, ay, ay. I should have just dipped out of there. Oh well, that's a new map for you. And our 1-2-1 one -one just threw his tank away for free. The only tank that could have changed the outcome of this game by playing the mid and rear. Kind of just YOLO'd in and died. Oof. All right, I guess it's 5120 time. Is this the new map? Yes, it is. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of it. It's kind of wonky. I like, I like me my big but fairly consistent maps like, um, uh, like Canal. Maps where no matter how bad my team is, I can always make it work. That was just a scenario where it was like, bro, I couldn't even do anything there. Their whole team was just sitting there. Their whole team was spread out. And no one on my team took the left corner. So they're just letting them poke there for free. So, I don't know. All right. Well, 5120 it is while we wait. I mean, it's practically the same vehicle. Just with less gun depression and one less shell. Otherwise, they're almost the same. Um, I'm going to kind of go to the right side here. Because I prefer the right engagement. Although, I will have to be careful. I will have to be careful. Because I don't have the best gun depression. And if they send their tier 9 Shkoda here, it could be a little problematic for me so let's see so far not so far he is but i don't know if he spotted me yet well, he definitely did spot me all right i'm going to play a shot into this dude let's wait for the healer to get a little over aggressive here nice let's see if anyone else crosses anyone else wants to get shot if you wish to be shot please do pull it forward nice Awesome. Well, I will admit, I actually really like the 5120. Um, I kind of thought it was worse off since it got its alpha yeeted, but low-key, that, that 2.7 second intro clip is really nice on a tier 9 autoloader. Okay, Keeler, I don't know what your big brain plan is, buddy. I can promise you one thing, it's not very big brain, though. So we got the CS here. That's going to be potentially problematic. Come on, can you back up just a little bit here, buddy? Okay, that's fine by me. These dudes are all relatively slow. Luckily for me, this tank has a lot more traverse speed than the tier 10 counterpart. Oh my gosh, what is the mobility on that rat vehicle? Holy smokes. Okay, take it back. We are not okay, buddies. We are not okay. This is the waffle that I got. Might kill us here soon. Oh my gosh, now my tank is stuck as well. Oh my goodness, what am I to do about this team, guys? What am I to do about this team? 
No way, this team. Oh my, how are you? What are, okay, guys, come on. There's three full health tanks up here. You can't be serious right now. So the whole enemy team rotated back through A and B. Interesting play. Interesting, interesting play by them. I uh, was not expecting them to do that. Still, Amex performed quite admirably there. Oh gosh, the tier 10 is still in game? There we go, about time you guys lost. RE4 did an okay job in the end, but yeah, the problem was is we didn't have that corner control. Ugh, Kaz a big and spacey lagoon is crampy. Yeah, I thought lagoon was a massive map until I realized it's all just little alleyways and then just a bunch of TD spots overlooking everything. It's kind of like, I feel like you're really restricted on how flexible you can play the map. It's not a bad map, and I certainly don't dislike it, but it's not that canal level of perfection that I like in, in map design. It's a little too, it's a little bit too much, if that makes sense. There's not enough, um, kind of more open ground to work with. Like if you're playing a light or medium tank, you're always pretty much going to be spotted no matter what you are shooting at, <laughs> you know? There's like, um, whereas in canal, you have a lot more flexibility than your, your lightly armored vehicles to play. Uh, I feel like Lagoon is, is, is nice, but it's a lot more cramped than I would have expected. Let's go, guys. Almost 200 likes, but still, 50B has been performing well. The only couple of bad games is when I um, when I didn't play it so well. That was more my fault than the tanks, if I'm honest with you. Um, so, yeah, let's see what we can do this game. My plan for this battle is to just absolutely steamroll the med side because they have a mouse, they have a U100, they have a CCTP. I mean, there's no reason their team should even really head to this side with that really heavy lineup so i want to see what we can do about that i'm pretty positive they're not going to go this way i mean looking at their lineup they are all heavy 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 well i am always can be proven wrong deserved <laughs> Why is he going this way? You literally have three super heavy tanks and y'all TDs are wandering to this side of the map for no reason at all. My gosh, I don't, I can't even comprehend the logic behind that play from the E4 and T30. Like surely they knew that if they had gone to the side, they were not going to do well. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. These players are always subverting my expectations, you know, and... Maybe not in the way that I want. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Is he wonder pushing in? I can't tell. Hopefully not. I gotta go for a rear crossfire here soon. That is a meme, dude. I'm like, yeah, I'm positive. They're not gonna show up over here. It's it's fine. We chill and dog. And then uh, out of nowhere, a wild team with 84 shows up. Wow, 290. Okay, he rolls 699. Nice meme. But hey, what is your play? What is your plan? So I guess the one is one of those type where you shoot them once and then they just like tunnel vision YOLO until they die, um, which is exactly what happens. <laughs> All right, let's let's hope we can farm a little bit on the mouse before he's dead. Although I'm not I'm not confident. This game is just over. Holy smokes! They had so many goaded heavy tanks and they somehow managed to just throw it all away so quickly here. There we go. We got the dub. We got the dub at least. <laughs> Canal provides cross shots, but not sure Lagoon has the visibility to do that. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. Lagoon has too much uh, blocking its perspective to, uh, you know, have those long lane shots and everything. So I feel like it's just kind of like everyone YOLOs. You guys lost? What? What map was this again? Oh, man, I did almost 4k damage and these boys still threw. How? No way. <laughs> well, I'm blind. My charger was right in front of me, so I'm back. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, L Lagoon, honestly, is a bit of a disappointment for me. Massively. I don't know about you, but there's like only two areas that I see teams go to. 
either everyone YOLO Seaside and sits their hall down until a couple players get annoyed and rotate out and then they all just die in the middle. Or they all go heavy side and sit there duking it out until they get annoyed down the middle. I was really expecting to be a lot more of a flexible uh, a map in terms of like uh, kind of a uh, versatile play styles and stuff, but it, it feels really restrictive. Also, you have to have like a lot of gun depression to work some of those positions. I don't think I'm going to take my 50B to that side from that spawn. From the other spawn, it works really well. Um, from that spawn, it doesn't work so well where I took it. So I'll, I'll think about where to better position the 50B in the future. Although, to be fair, if my allies had just pushed left, then I could have actually held there. But yeah, no one actually took the left corner. Uh, do you have same control mode on? I thought I had it off. But now that I think about it, the queues... Oh, I was going to say, the queues are so darn long. <laughs> the queues have been so long today. But honestly, yeah, the mobile teams have been okay for the most part. We haven't had any, like, super, super bad teams. So, shout out to mobile players for being a little more consistent. <laughs> but I'll turn it off just so the queues aren't quite as long. I hate waiting for over a minute for every single tier 10 game. E4 can take any flank and think he will do best. Sorry, that's most people in mentality claim E4 can do well anywhere. It's it's a heavy at this point. It's a lightweight heavy tank. Gotcha. Uh, okay, I'd love to go to the mi middle. Yeah, I'm going to have to help our left side. I don't want to do this, but 60 TP, E100, E75. There's really no point in me committing anywhere else. Also, I think the bash shot is spotting up the middle. I can't tell where I, where I was spotted from because our TI2 isn't spotting anything from his position. All right, well, that's what I was waiting for. I wonder where the bat shot's spotting from. He must be on the middle hill. That's the only explanation. Oh, wow, interesting. So their team is split up mega. Huh. Honestly, was not expecting that, but I'll take it very happily. Because you know what, Mr. Confenzer? Buddy, you are making a little bit of a mistake here. Alright, mouse. Pull forward, E100. Nice. Good shot to the E100 here. Another shot. Nice. Full clip out. Alright, so that was really bizarre. They're, I kind of expect their meds to be a little more aggressive over here, but they were not. Um, I'm going to wait for a TI2 to get HE'd by a 183, which is a possibility here. I do need to help clear out this Bashathion here in just a moment. Okay, the Bashathion is going to get a little more aggressive. That's actually going to be a bit of a rip for him here. Just the SU. Okay, we'll kill this dude because he's actually a threat. Nice. You know where the SU is? Okay. The problem is they do have a, they do have a 183 in their spawn we have to watch out for. Yeah, that one. Okay, I'm gonna push up on the 183 here. Because he needs to get taken out as quickly as possible before our other dudes get bombed by him. So, I'm just gonna go for the yeet. Now, where did he kill the TI2 from? From this main bush, I would assume. I'm gonna hit that SOS and hopefully I get some support here. There he is. Hello, buddy. Nice. There we go. Really important clear there. I could have gone back and helped our TDs, but logically speaking, it would make much more sense to clear out um, that 183. Now, the only significant problem that I foresee right now is the fact that my team are in no position to stay alive. Honestly, I might have been better off sniping in the TD bush, but let me see if I can help hold here. Oh, the 60 TP done messed up big time. Enemy 60 TP making a massive error there. Okay, okay. What can we do about it now? Let's see. Okay, sadly our girl gets taken out there. We have two one shots. These dudes are not clippable just yet. Okay, that's fine by me. Maybe if we can kill the E100 with a three shell. Here, if we kill the E100, it might be okay. Track. Oh, and a fire. Clutch. Big clutch. Big clutch. Nice. Now I can just yellow forward and kill the SU. 
That was a clutch fire there and tracking shot. SC kill. Nice. Okay, we should have the HP to be able to clear this. Preserve that HP and farm to your heart's content. That is the way of the dub. Okay. <laughs> and we will just wait. How's it going, buddy? How's your day going, huh? <laughs> you doing okay over there, buddy? Doing okay over there? Doing over okay over here, buddy? Oh my gosh. Let's just aim an APCR. I know it'll take me an extra shell to kill him with APCR, but honestly, let's just get the consistent dub here. Nice. Five kills, 5k damage. Easy spy. I'm happy to report that the stream is still here after lunch. Yes, sir. Hi, <laughs> Fatty. Do you think they, uh, the Chimera is worth for 10k gold? If you think it is the best tier 8 premium. If not, which one is best? Honestly, I don't play tier 8 premiums very often, but from my... Um, oh, that was a good game. Uh, from my perspective, the Chimera is the best tier 8 premium. I, I think I have like a 90% win rate in that tank at 100 games and 3,000 plus average damage, which is ridiculous. It just is... It's the versatile. It's just super versatile. But the Chimera also takes some skill to play. It's... It's strong in the right hands, if that makes sense. But if you don't know how to play it, then... This dude already has a regressor? What? Does that take, like, stupid expensive to get early on? My man's already has himself a regressor. Honestly, that is impressive. Alright, let's see. I don't usually play this position, but I have a feeling those chieftains are going to provide me some nice track shots. Okay, come on, dude. There has to be a reason shots like that miss by so much. There's no reason that shot should have missed by that. Oh, okay. Maybe it's just the servers are just super darn laggy right now. That could be why. Come on, boys. You got to keep these chieftains down. I'm dude, the servers are so choppy. Wargaming. Make your servers less laggy. Thank you. Okay, I'll watch out for the CIT on the left. I'm looking around, and their evil hunters out of the fight. These two chieftains are holding this corner. The regressors should get taken out pretty soon. They have a heavy flank presence. Looks like my allies are just not concerned at all with dealing with this dude. My jeez, you cannot wait any longer. I know I'm going to take one here. It's going, be, it's going to be worth it for the kill, though. Okay, evil hunter, please do not push me out, whatever you do. All right. Confenser, I believe in you, buddy. Oh my gosh, player, stop blocking me. Oh, just go, guys. What are you doing? It's one tank. Go. You're two, like, full HP German super heavies. You've got to be kidding me. These players, man, these players. Oh my god. I can't even believe what they were doing here, dude. They were both scared of a tier 9 heavy tank, like, refusing to push a tier 9 heavy. There's no way, man. <laughs> I think that's the most frustrated I've sounded in a while. Mostly because I'm bleeding HP here because these two heavies are too scared of a single tier 9 heavy tank. Oh my gosh. Dude, just back up. Back up. Back up. There's no need to be so aggressive here. Back up. Dude, back up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't care. I'm going to use you as a meat shield, dude. Y'all are getting in the way here. Making my life a real difficult okay holy smokes i think our team is actually trying to kill us at this point how bad are these players vk e100 and confenser too scared to push on a single tier 9 heavy that has zero support and then when i put a full clip into him they're still sitting there blocking me instead of just pushing forward and killing him like what Oh, I'm actually molded at these two heavies. They threw the game. We actually could have won if they had just pushed through and killed them. So we could have kept the pressure up and killed the chieftains before they had time to escape. But nope. I lost a, a boatload of HP because of these dudes. Ay ay ay. E100. Bruh. 50% win rate? Yeah, right. <laughs> Confines are a little more understandable. He's a 45%er. I don't understand these players, man. <laughs> I am legitimately frustrated at my allies for once on stream. Ay, ay, ay. Deep breaths. Mostly because 
they were just uh scared of a single tier 9 heavy that had no support and even after i dumped 1200 damage into him they were refusing to push him like come on guys and they were full hp which made things way worse i mean i would understand if they're like half health and they don't want to push out and lose hp they were both full hit points facing a 600 hp tier 9 heavy tank i mean honestly they should have pushed on him ages ago <laughs> Ay ay ay. Alright. I'm gonna spot up C before potentially dipping out of here. It's a bit of an aggressive play on my part. Alright, let's just try and pre-aim in our gun a little bit before we even peek around the corner here. And it's a Minotaro. Interesting. He's not the one capping though. He's just one of the people on the cap. So let's just dip out from here. Um, mostly because I'm not too certain what my allies are doing. Ooh, actually no, I is gonna give me some lovely shot opportunities here in just a moment. Okay, good stuff. Going quick shot into this dude's tracks, and then I'm just gonna pull across here. If they keep trying to chase me, I should have a crossfire with my allies pretty soon. Actually, as it's not a guarantee, I'm gonna dip out of here because my whole team is in Narnia right now. What the heck? <laughs> my whole team has wandered into Narnia. Okay, that's fine with me though. I can start dealing with this yo soon enough. Yeah, that's fine. We can pick up a kill this yo, hopefully. Alright. I'm challenging this dude. We're gonna take 900. It is what it is. Oh my gosh, Leo, you don't have to sit right behind me. Thank you very much. Leo, there is an ice 8 behind us. We can double shot him. Leo, there is literally an ice 8 behind us. We can double shot him. Oh my gosh. Leo, you are so... <laughs> Uh, you know what the problem is? <laughs> I have noticed a distinctive pattern, actually. I'm putting some control mode back on. Aye, aye, aye. Also, it's been about two and a half hours since we gameplay. I just don't understand how players can have such awful situational awareness. Like, the Leo could have killed the IS-8 the IS with me, but instead, he decides to frontally face a Minotauro that he can't even pen, even though the ice was spotted right behind us, like, brother. <laughs> Fattis, I know what it is. Yeah, it's, it's because I'm playing with all the PC rat players that don't know how to play the game. <laughs> I'm not even joking. PC Blitz players are actually 10 times worse than mobile. They just... I don't know what's wrong. They're worse drivers. They're worse situational awareness and they YOLO like crazy in comparison. They're a lot less predictable, but also a lot less reliable as teammates. Because <laughs> I, I just realized the games only started kind of going like, like meh when I turned same control mode off. So I, I'd rather take the longer cues at this time to guarantee less YOLO S players on my team. So let's see. So far, no one's spotted, although that doesn't mean anything. They could still have players here. Mm -hmm. Still not spotted. Okay, so their teams are split up a little bit. I right, I see how it is. Do I want to hold our spawn or push into theirs? That's the question. I don't want to take a shot from this dude, but at the same time, I think I'll just clip him out because he has. There's no way he has a spawn liner here. Six HP, nice meme. <laughs> He's dead anyways. Okay, so these 75s on the left side, nice. I do like I do like me there in 5120. Honestly, it's kind of a nice break to play something a little different every once in a while. I know it's practically the same tank, but it feels a whole lot like the old school 50B to me, which is kind of nice. It has that nice combination of mobility and firepower that I loved about the 50B back in the day. So let's see what we can do here. Yoink. Ah, no. No yoink for me. I wonder, is he going to back off? Still spotted. Okay, what? Y'all are just going to ignore that dude. That's, I guess that's fine. I'm wasting my time here. Let me just pull out. Get ready to start working down the flank here. Come on. Just gonna bend this dude's haul out a little bit and get ready to help our VZ who's gonna get yoloed soon. 
Or maybe I should deal with the yo instead. Yeah. I think clearing the high ground might be the better play here. Or no, is the TI2 going for a flank? Actually, that TI2 does commit to that flank there. Could be worth my time to clip out. Oh, nice, nice, nice. This dude's at least committing. And the gun handling says no you. Nice meme. Now the yo's also pushing in. Bruh. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. One quick shell to this dude. Maybe another shell. Not quite. I think we're still fine. A Lanson should have that flank. Our T30 should have the top. The question is if we can kill this flank over here. Which we should. We should be good. Alright. Yeah, we're fine here. Let's see. Can I pick up the kill on this dude? Perfect. And we'll deter up. Nice. And we can start flanking around for some side shots here. T30 gets absolutely dunked on. Oh my. Alright, 53 TB. It's time to play. Fired once. Quick shell them. And I guess that's a GG. Not the highest farm game, but I will I will take the dub all the same. I do look there's something that feels really nice about the 5120, and I can't quite put my finger on it. But there is something that does feel really solid about this vehicle. Maybe I think it's the better traverse speed. I, I honestly think it's the better traverse speed that makes it feel really pleasant. Um, I'm kind of liking it more than I expected. To be honest, I haven't played this thing since the last time I did a 50B showcase. So, you know, that was a long time ago. But it feels very nice. The tier 9. I'm, I'm, I'm low-key kind of liking the tier 9 quite a bit. Hello, streamer. Hello, 34. How's it going? <laughs> Thank you, Takumi. Take, take care. Have a good one. Good to see the wild 34 over here. All right, we have to get one more pog game in the 50B. I heard fatness is insulting me. What, Button? What are you saying? I haven't even, I haven't even mentioned you once, Button. What are you inventing? You are inventing, my dude. I haven't even mentioned your name except for a quick hello at the start of the stream. <laughs> Oh right, you're a PC player. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, you're you're you're, uh, you're, you're one of the PC players. Yikers, button. <laughs> so technically speaking, I was insulting you. Unlucky. I don't know. Sometimes it's okay playing with same control mode off. Sometimes it's just really bad. I don't know if it's because it's like right off boss mode. There was an event, and everyone's just kind of spamming, but it's been a bit yikers uh, today. The only problem is I can't spot TDs crossing to that corner. So I really don't know if they have a, a, a firing squad of tank destroyers waiting to nuke me around that corner. I gotta take it a little bit easy here. It's a bit risky to poke this, man. You know that they have TDs back there. Yep, they sure do. Okay, I'll wait till I'm unspotted here. Oh my goodness. Quick shot to this dude. Nice, we get the ricochet as well. Okay, at least we know where the 4005 is. Uh, the Kronwagen probably making a bit of a mistake by staying up here for so long. Sheridan also getting dunked on. Okay. Honestly, I was not expecting this, but it's a lot better than I expected. Let's see. I wonder if they sent any TDs to this left side. It's worth a shot. So far though, it appears not. Nice. All right, we're going to go for the big brain bait plays here. Quick roll on this man's. If the Kron tries to turn back for me, that's gonna be his demise. Cause yeah, he's just gonna get farmed out by the 60 TP here. Oh, that Kron is stuck in a mega crossfire. Dude can't even move. Okay. Probably should reload by now, but oh well. Let's see if we can spot up any of their TDs from here. Wait, is the Kron pushing up now? Why now? Oh my goodness. Oh, there's the grill. Hog. What the heck? There's a Progetto back here. You know what? I'm gonna pretend I didn't see him. Let's see what happens. Okay, I probably should try and kill this Kron before it's too late. 
So I'm just busy picking up kills today. That's that 50 gun handling. <laughs> I don't know how the gun matches the derp so many shells. All right. That was the flat side of a grill. I don't, I don't even know what's happening in this game. I've just come to accept that no one knows what they're doing. This is such a weird game of this map. I've never seen a team play like this on this map before. Oh my gosh, dude just sat there and let himself die as well. Now the grill's getting yeeted. I won't even be able to farm him because his hull is too high. So I got a yellow in, I guess. The only one that might be able to farm is the Hori. We don't know where he is. What the hell, brother? <laughs> where did the wild Hori come from? I don't even care if the girl shoots me once or twice, man. I'm getting my farm in before it's too late. <laughs> the Hori has been there the whole time. I had no clue. I thought he wasn't there. Oh my gosh. That's actually a meme, dude. I was like, now where's this Hori at? And then he just pops up out of Narnia on my side. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my gosh. Dude, brother, you are getting farmed out. <laughs> Not quite the goaded farm game I wanted. Gotta love that massive clit potential, though. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not hating on the 50B. 50B's fine. Um, and overall, I think we had a really, really good session in it. Towards the end of the session, I uh, started faltering in my gameplay, as is to be expected. I mean, it's been over two and a half hours of nonstop blitzery um, in the same tank. So, <laughs> I just want one more solid game in this tank, at least. Venice have an odd enemy TD position. <laughs> How did he not spot? He must have never pulled over the ridge. I like this tank a lot more with the three shots. Mass. Oh, it's the best damage dealer right before the adjustment. Oh, yeah. Everyone. I don't think anyone will ever look at the 50B as it is now or how it was in before 10.0 and say that it's better than the street three shot. The three shot was easily top three best tier 10 tanks in the game. Um... Very much slightly broken to significantly broken in some respects with his DPM, its mobility, especially when Wargaming were messing around with that armor profile for no reason. Dude, that made the tank absolutely cracked for no reason at all. Oh man, we got the track shot. We got the track shot, ladies and gentlemen. All right, extra shell into the 60 TP here. I'll take that. I'll take that. That was some decent early farm in the 60 TP here. So let's see. Minotaro's in town. We know where the V4 is. We know where the Vickers is. I'm sure the grill's behind these dudes as well. There's the object 777. Okay. My problem with playing the 50B here is it's massive size. Let's wait and see what happens. So we got a moment. WZ and Amex 30B are still chilling over here. They seem fine for now. Okay, how was I spotted exactly? Just because this tank is so fat. <laughs> I think maybe the Vicar spotted me somehow. I want to push the 60 TP here, but I, I can't at the same time. It's kind of annoying. The type's fine. Our Kron threw his tank away already somehow. I really don't want to take one from the grill. No, oh, nice. One shell into this dude. What? So that's what's spotting me up. There's spawn sniping T62A. Who is going to lose half his HP for that now? Track. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. We're clearing the top side out. Very good. I think we'll be fine. I'm playing kind of a, a sketchy game for this tank, but it's working out. Because we are at least clearing out their vehicles pretty well here. Ooh. Now the object just fired. Quick killing this dude. There we go. Nice and easy does the trick. All right. Quick kill. Nice. Nice. Yo, the gun's been working like a blessing today. <laughs> I need to help her type out soon. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take one from the V4, but it's okay. We'll be fine. I gotta help our type out anyways, so. 
Let me give the homie a little hand here. Hi, buddy. I got you, fam. Oh, no. You stole my damage. How dare you? I went all the way over here to farm this fool. No, 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 girl. Pull forward just a little bit more, buddy. Yes, thank you. No, you stole my farm again. What? Okay. Um, I am also a one shot, so maybe I should take it easy and let the uh, type do all the spotting for me. Data boy, tap. Data boy. <laughs> oh, what a wacky game this has been, huh, guys? The gun actually worked really well, though. I do love the, the APCR pen on the 50B. Cannot deny that the APCR pen is very saucy on this vehicle. Oh, hi. How's it going? <laughs> of course, he's just sitting there, man. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> GG. Not quite the game I wanted, though. Not quite saucy enough. Why were you going to always put tier 6 in the battle pass? Uh, because it's hard to break a tier 6. Or at least ruin tier 6 because nothing's balanced. <laughs> no, same thing. VZ55 OP or mid? VZ55 is solid. It has a really good gun. I will give it that. I still have to grind it out on my account. Jeez, man. <laughs> that was the one thing in the financial aspect of Blitz that I, I liked. As money hungry as Wargaming is, the battle pass being $5 was fair. True. To be fair, though, the battle pass increased to, what, 7 bucks, And you no longer have to pay for the license system. And also, you can complete, I think, all missions at the same time, if I remember correctly. I, I, don't, I don't quite remember, but... I have the details somewhere. Um, yeah, I know Battle Pass got updated, but for like an extra two bucks, it's not necessarily like less value, considering that quite often to even complete the month the Battle Pass completely without having to like grind away every single day, you would need to buy the uh, the permit anyways, the license. And so just by including the license is basically just, hey, you get access to everything right away and the battle pass and one-time purchase is actually, I think it's actually not a bad decision by Wargaming. It just seems like it's worse because you're paying an extra two bucks. <laughs> but I think honestly, it's kind of a better deal. Because <laughs> now, because now, I mean, actually maybe not a better deal if you never complete the battle pass and you buy it. Oh, buddy, buddy. Ay, 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 these, these players, man. Of course, the, of course the 263 had to block my shots. The E3 should have lost over 1,000 HP there. Oh, what is the 5A doing? Let's see if we can take care of this 5A in a moment, guys. Nah, the 5A is going to take care of himself. Like, with that level of aggression, dude's going to be dead in no time. Still, I'm going to see if I can try farming him at all before it is too late. Patton's already down. WZ's practically down. Oh my gosh. Where did the E3 come from? Track shot. Nice. Yeah, want to poke me again, buddy? See how it goes. He's dead. Uh, it's the same V4 I've been playing against like all day. This dude just must have an absolute obsession over the V4. <laughs> Okay, this game's over. Their team's just yoloing. Their mouse is spot sniping. Oh my gosh. Yes, welcome to World of Tanks Blitz, where the heaviest and slowest vehicles sit and spawn, waiting for the enemy to show up in front of them. Big brain. The very biggest of big brain strategies for getting you those dubs. Okay, okay, E4. Oh my gosh, E4, what are you doing, buddy? I should've just yoloed in. More like, what is the WZ doing? What the WZ doing? Bro, I cannot farm anything right now. Ay, ay, ay. What? Hello? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that was such a sweep. Their mouse got obliterated by someone. I am the maid subscriber. So it's all over for you. A pixel tank now comes the same as a uh, prime PS5 game just for camo, not including tank price. A pixel take now costs the same as a prime PS5 game. Like 30, 40 bucks? I don't know how much PS5 games cost, to be fair. Uh, yeah, that's 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 precisely why I do not buy tanks in this game. And uh, I just slowly accumulate the funds. Guys, wish me good luck. I have final exam next week. Uh, good luck. May you get the easy claps in the exam. CJ is the main subscriber. Everyone knows that. <laughs> and fatness, the license thing is actually not accurate. I have the premium pass, but cannot see the 
next week missions either they changed it somehow or removed it really 34 i'm uh well sorry if i misinformed you guys let me see i, I should have the information somewhere I don't know where, though. I do not know where. Let's see. Battle pass without license key changes. All active weeks will be available. No need to activate weeks if the player have if the player has the pass. No more early access to future weeks. There you go. They can replace missions. Yada yada yada. Okay. Still, 34. You cannot access weeks ahead of time, necessarily. But you can access the previous leaks. So, theoretically, you still have, like, the functionality of the battle pass. and I, Or the license. I think the license only allows you to be one week ahead, right? Or am I incorrect? Honestly, I, I've never paid too much attention to the battle pass. Um, it, just, it just kind of always has existed. But, I don't know. It seems fine to me. <laughs> I graduated high school this Saturday. Oh, congratulations. Okay, let's see. Any any boys over on this side that want to uh, want to play? Hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, dude got obliterated. Okay, so our corner's going to lose. Here's what we're going to do. Actually, no, they can cap out. Uh, we need to be able to create some crossfires here pretty quickly, so we're going to do that. <laughs> A lot of us have been here before 30k. Shout out to anyone who's been here before 1k, because that would have been back when this channel had a different name and eight or so years ago. <laughs> now that, now if you're here from the OG days of this channel, that's an old timer. I don't know if the yo is still here, so I'm just going to take a few shots in case he is. Um, although I will admit, this is not looking quite as nice as I wanted it to. Ooh, interesting. 268. He has spotted me, too. How wonderful is that? What if we can climb this hill? Uh, almost. But not quite. Alright, so 268 is making a break for it. That's interesting. He has made a break for it, is what I meant to say. Um, we have a bit of a crossfire here, but it's not really the best crossfire. Especially all they have to do is rotate back and they'll be hauled down in their spawn. Let's see. 100, 183. I'm going to wait for them to maybe yolo our patent, and I'm just going to cover our patent when that happens. Okay, there's the 5A. So the 5A actually has rotated back. Alright, you know, I don't want our poor patent to die, so I'm going to see if I can help him out here. Nice, that's your typical gun handling on this tank here. I'm just gonna let the 268 do his thing. Continue working down the yo. Actually, the 268 shot me instead of the yo, uh, the patent, so that's not the worst case scenario here. We still have a conqueror for cover fire. Patent, you gotta hug more to the right, you gotta hug more to the right. I'm gonna act like I'm gonna aim a shell in for this dude. Okay. Well, that's just a rip. On the other hand, the yo is now mega overexposed. That's fine. That's fine. They bled a boatload of HP for me there. And even the object can't yolo me. See, the reason I went to this corner is because I could see the Conqueror had a nice little crossfire there. So I was pretty secure holding here. As long as the Conqueror was there to keep an eye on me. Which is exactly what happened, so we are we are doing okay. Alright, we have the caps. We sure do have the caps there. Let's see, is this dude even paying attention to me? Oh, oh my gosh, I lagged forward quite a bit there. Okay. I think that's to be pulling up quite a bit. Maybe, just maybe, not quite. I'll just keep spawning up this corner. Oh, nice. 
Okay, I think that was the... Yo, I'm just going to reload in, ca in case I don't have enough clips. But we should be able to win this. Bit of a boring game, but we did a good job holding this corner. Oh, wait. The yo is dead. I forgot. <laughs> so it's the object that's on the left side. Good to know. We win on cap if nothing else. <laughs> we all know Fatness is Fatness is all the subscriber. Easy. Yes, sir. Okay. Nice. Wow, all of that work for sub 3k damage, that's disappointing, honestly. Okay, give me more damage. <laughs> all that work for sub 3k or barely 3k. No, this is not the big brain, big brain gameplay I wanted. Okay, I'm just gonna keep reading up on the license. Um, oh, we also have the new coins available in the in the battle pass. I forgot about those as well. Some boosters were replaced with the kit coins, which honestly is fine, I think. So yeah, we're giving this blazer. It's more convenient to com to complete the battle pass this way. I don't know if it's uh if it's better or not to be honest. Um, but it seems fine to me for the most part. Okay, are we gonna go town? We're gonna go town. It's supremacy. We should totally go town, and wreck their team from the town. I think this is the play. Got to bring the kids to bed. I hope that the stream is still uh, is still there afterwards. Oh, uh, good night to um, your kids. <laughs> I miss plus two minus two matchmaking. Hey yo, we have an old school goat here. Someone who understands the uh, the beauty of the old school matchmaking system, which was wargaming, not controlling it at all. That was the beauty. All right, one shot, two shot, three shot. We also have a wild type 71 over here. Don't mind if I do, good sir. Let's angle up our front a little bit. Okay, that's fine. We didn't really lose that much HP. Plus, I don't know what the type's doing here. He's a bit over aggro. Guys, we can push this side. You know we have a massive overmatch on this side, right, guys? There we go. It's about time. About time. Let's go. All right. Let's see. We can clear the type here. Or even the K91. That's fine. Both are fine. There we go. Type down. I guess, realistically speaking, the 205B has more DPM. So let's track them in the open here. Nice. And this dude's just dead. All right, nice. That was easy. This is why I like playing town, especially in Supremacy. There's no reason to go hill because you can just hold town to, if you have enough heavies, get those double town caps, and and pretty easily win the game. Especially if players like this poor Shadowdon is uh is kind of full sending it and and getting themselves stuck in a ditch, which you know is always going to end well. Not. Oh gosh. 50B sniping accuracy. Here we go. One shot. Two shot. Oh, he's down. But he's down. Just 3,600 damage dealt. All right. So the 405 could still clip me and ruin my day, but I think we might be able to make this a decent farm game in the end since we are faster than most of their team. The question is how much faster. Conway's about to get hit, isn't he? Yep. Uh, complete unnecessary hit by the Conway. Buddy, you can't even probably pen any 100 with that amount of uh with that gun you're running oh my gosh con i take it back i was like far decent farm game <laughs> yeah definitely definitely a decent farm game um yeah they're all dead <laughs> i kind of thought the 405 and conway I i'm kind of surprised the conway just sat there and let himself be killed but so was the way of life I knew the Sheridan would poke up on my left, bro. I knew it. I knew he would poke up on my left, and I was waiting for it, buddy. Nice. Well, did we get a decent game out? Oh, it wasn't half bad. 
Bro, I just want the anniversary event to start already. I get the object for 5-2K. Oh, we got our 5K out. Wow. And an ace. Finally. Gosh, it took me a few too many games to get a decent game in the 50B out. But I'll take that. You know, we got a decent amount of farm. So, yeah. 50B has a whole lot of potential still, I would say. Average state about the same. Which is not bad, I guess. Considering I had a few fluke games here and there. But, uh, good old 50B, man. It has a whole lot better than it, than it did beforehand. Still not as good as the impeccable version that we had when it was a three shot, but honestly, I, I feel like I can play this tank now and be pretty confident and happy with it. Um, as is the per usual fashion, before we end off the stream, we have to do... What is all this noise? It's so loud. Okay. Uh, as per usual... Oh, wow. Amazing. What? Wow, crazy animations we're gaming. <laughs> Wait, do you have to unlock the modules on the tank? No way. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, let us mute that real quick. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Uh, okay. Well, I muted it temporarily from my end. Oh, I have to mute the source, not the audio. Oopsie. <laughs> Wargaming, why? Uh, hopefully that wasn't copyrighted music. That's okay. I think this is the mute, right? Yeah, this is the mute. Okay, so now I know how to mute it faster in the future. Ay ay ay, man. Why does Wargaming gotta do us like that? Bro, it's a, what is this? Please tell me it's fully, it's not even fully upgraded. What is this? What is this? <laughs> There's no way, dude. No, I'm not playing this. I ain't playing this. Not when it's like that stock. Oh my gosh. Okay, 183 for ends for memes. I don't know what that was all about. Gosh, that music was loud. You need to get kit coins, which are incredibly scarce. I see. How long is this uh, mode, is this event available for is the real question. Yes, the mighty 183. Yes, yeah. We, have, we always have to end. Like it, at this point, it is just the fashion to end my streams with a 1A3 game and to hash someone. <laughs> Black Ninja, what's with the L's, bro? <laughs> That's ugly. That's what it is. Uh, yeah. Man, I like flashy colors on tanks, but even that is a bit much for me. I think it's the tier 8 medium tank Indian Panzer. Is there any reason to play it or is it just like the identical Indian Panzer, dude? Or you gonna crack? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Three months? Three months to come get it. And there's a tier nine. Oh my goodness. I, yeah, I'm not going to try. I'm not going to try for it. What I am going to try, though, is to have a fun game of the Death Star, guys. Let's go. Come on, meds. I expect you to do some glorious things. All right. Watch. We hit those. I mean, why not? I'm loaded in at the very start of the game. May as well go for the blind shots for the memes, right? Although odds are I probably would still miss. I don't really like sniping, but I don't feel like I have much of a choice on this map. Playing aggressively in town's a bit of a really high risk. Hi, Bobs! Bobs joined the chat. Let's go. All right. Where's that four tier two going to go? Oh, actually, no. That's great farm potential here. Great, great farm potential. Allow me to rotate out just a little bit, Mr. Conqueror. Okay, I can't really tell which way he's looking, but I'm going to assume here's good. Unlucky, bro. Unlucky. Very unlucky. Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. there's so many of them. Oh, ho, ho, ho. stay right there, little one. Stay right, 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 right there. A thousand scam hash roll. Scam hash roll, man. What do you mean 1000 flat damage for a hash shot? That, ladies and gentlemen, is what I refer to as a scam. Also, we need to get the heck out of here. <laughs> we are about to lose our spawn as ASAP. All right, E4, I am depending on you to kill this fortress. Am I not spotted? Does this dude not spot me or what? Wow, he actually didn't spot me. That's pretty impressive, honestly. All right. So to clear out the enemy's spawn, I might take one from the eyesight here and the 60 TP as well. All right, all right. Could be, could be a whole lot worse. 
Alrighty, I gotta keep pulling through here, man, or so I'm gonna get crossfired out like crazy. Thanks to our AFK Bashation. Making life a little difficult for everyone here. Alright, I'm gonna have to have faith in our E4's abilities. Come on, push in. I know I'm gonna get shot from behind. I don't really care. Push in, buddy. No way. That's actually a scam. Get out of here. Holy smokes. Yep, we had an AFK bat shot and our... Wait, what even heavy tanks did we have? A 5120 and our object yellowed and died. That makes sense. Oh, you four had a good game. That was like, that was just a yiker situation, man. There was nothing for me to do there. Even if I had, like, been with our heavies, we still would have been swept. If I got med side, I would have been swept anyways. Oh, nice shot, E3. Or E4. <gasps> Nicer shot, Minotauro. Before the Ice Age steals the kill. <gasps> he did! <laughs> that's Sudanya. Ah, that's Sudanya. <laughs> Madismatic had two shot to take. Brother, imagine. Imagine. Oh, that game was scuffed. I mean, if we didn't have an AFK bat shot, we might have been able to clear bedside fast enough to rotate in. But yeah, that's that's a rip. <laughs> now witness the firepower of this fully armored and operational battle station. Uh, that was not it, brother. That was not it. Also, I don't know where that shot landed on the 60 TP not to hash pen him and like that, man. Ay yay yay. <laughs> we, we, we must hit the, the nukes, guys. We must hit the nukes to be satisfied. We did not get any good nukes. And even the headshot we did pen did a thousand flat. 300 below average, by the way. <laughs> unacceptable. Unacceptable. Still impressive damage. Eh. It was like two and a half shots. So not really, I guess. I mean, it could have been zero. I've, I've seen a lot of 1AP players pull a zero out in situations like that. Um, it should have been like 4,000 plus. But oh well. It is what it is. All right, what? TL7120, I forgot that tank was released. I swear no one plays that vehicle. Oh my, yes, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. That dude just got ratted on. There we go. That's the 1A3 that I wanted to see. The fun one that nukes people for 1300. Yes, much better, much, much better. Now, I'm not gonna pull all the way into the bushes because I don't want to get spotted by the type. I don't even know if I can pen the type, man. Maybe barely here. Yeah, that's not working. Okay, there's the cron. Hmm, they have a tank at A. That's good to know. The Kron's gonna get yeeted soon enough, I think. These these rat 71s are so annoying to deal with, man. Damn, I can't spot him through this bush here. Oh bet. Alright, yeah, that tank has invincible drive wheels, cause logic. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Conqueror is a bit overexposed, I think, in the mid right now. Come back up in just a moment. Nope, and the TVP. Actually, TVP should be more of a priority here. How did that shot go so low? I was aiming for his whole engine deck. Still, TVP should be a priority. He's a really dangerous tank. Although, he should have been hashed in the side there. I'm getting scammed, guys. I'm getting scammed. Maybe I should just start shooting AP instead. Alright, 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 alright. You know what? We'll shoot AP for safety. There we go. There's a batch up end. Bruh, bruh, you're, you're a T-125, what, 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 uh, what are you doing, brother? You're a T-125. Man's is like, nah, I am the T-110E sniper. Oh, see, I didn't catch that. This dude's massive ring for it. Yoink. Oh my. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now that's a clippable shot there, dude. That's a clippable shot. I wish I had high rolled and killed him there. Holy smokes, 183 gun be bussin', man. Oh my gosh. Wait, is this dude AFK? 
Well, if that's the case, don't mind if I do, buddy. Enemy armor is hit. I think we got the dub here. Oh my gosh, man. That shot was insane. That shot was insane. <laughs> the pre-aim is real. The pre-aim is real, my guys. <laughs> that shot was insane. That made me happy, honestly. I love hitting meme shots, and that was a great one. Sometimes I just like to YOLO around for the sake of it. And farming AFKs, man, this game has been great. This game has been great, honestly. Hello, anyone home? Hello? Ah, you're back on. I know you're back here somewhere. There you are, buddy. Yoink. I wasn't lucky a second time. That was worth a try. That was fun. <laughs> turn, off, uh, turn, turn off the aimbot, bro. <laughs> aimbot too strong. Oh, the one did kill himself. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my goodness. That was a great shot. Remember that shot, guys. Remember that shot. Oh, how about 6,000 damage? There we go. That's the 183 we wanted to see, wasn't it? Fun stuff. Meme 183, we hit, we got some headshots. We absolutely yeeted on a bat chat from across the map. <laughs> Leave Jerome. <laughs> we, uh, block trigger on Sanity Fatness. Is that the dude that was spamming me with platoon invites? I, I, I can't remember. I did try to do what you did. It did go well. Oh, imagine. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, let's get these battle pass missions done with. Yeet. So you can only do one week at a time. That's fine, I think. All right, so that's your 50B live stream. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. 50B, very solid tank. And I would say for the most part, yeah, 50B, 5120, they feel a lot better than they did previously and are a lot more worth playing now. Um, they're not quite as... not. It hasn't quite reached its golden prime days as it did way back in the day. Um, but it's, it's good. It, it's much better now. And oh, oh, because we can't end a live stream ever without the Le Bobbe. Come say hi to the camera. Here. There you go. Oh, oh, she, she is being very frolicky. You can see my ghetto lighting setup. Oh, you're, oh, come on. Say hi to the camera. Okay, now she's just saying hi to the computer here. Hi. Yeah. Say your greetings, Bobby. Say your greetings. Come on. Send your greetings. Uh, that's, that's not your greetings, girl. Come on. Here. Go, go mess around with an Apple pencil or something. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream and uh, and everything. It was it was nice having you guys join me again today. Uh, sorry I didn't get a stream out last weekend. It was Memorial Day weekend, so yeah, I was kind of busy with family and and stuff like that. And I actually didn't get around to doing another stream, which I had planned on, but I forgot it was Memorial Day weekend at the time. Uh, Bobby is now saying a very passionate hello to the camera. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now. Now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we get it, Bobby. Bobby's happy. Okay. You, you good, girl? Yeah. Did you said your hellos? All right. So, there we go. Our daily dose of bubbers. And overall, a pretty solid stream. So, ugh. thank you very much again, everyone, for dropping by, smashing that like button, talking in the chat, or donating, or just chilling and viewing the stream every one support is very much appreciated. I hope you guys have a great start to your weekend tomorrow evening. And um, yeah, I should be back for another stream this week. We have to cover the D124 at least. And I don't know if Wargaming is releasing any new tanks on Friday, but maybe, you know, if they release something, I doubt it. They've just released two tier tens in the last week. So uh, yeah, we will see. We will see. She kissed me. <laughs> no, it was not you. <laughs> um, and anyways, that's going to be it for me today, guys. Take care. Bye-bye and peace.